it is time for Silkworm on the NES. In the 1990s, scientists had completed... Oh, it conspired to take over the world. In order to... Robert Stacy get in the Jeep. Roger. How'd you like that story? Was that good? Good. Anyway, this is Silkworm for the NES. Let's try it out. What's going on, guys? All right, I'm gonna be, you can be the helicopter or the Jeep. I'm gonna be the helicopter. I like that music. Best soundtrack ever. I actually do want this one on vinyl. For real. everybody's talking about now. It's called uh, Pud World. Have you guys heard of this Pud World game? Uh, Wilson Kurt Jack, thank you very much for the sub, and IR3 Mix 3D. That seems to be the popular game this week. Pud World. And um, I'm like, yeah, but what about Silkworm on NES? What's this? I don't know what I just got. Strangely, you don't hate the music even though it's mostly this the entire time. It's because it's a great loop. If you have a good loop, then it's fine. But if the loop is like annoying, it's like the bubble bobble music. It's like the bubble bobble music is good for like a minute. And then you're like, okay, I've heard enough of it. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it's good for a Pokemon game. Oh yeah, you're talking about that Pud World game? Oh, pa Pal World. That's what it's called. Now, does that have anything to do with, like, uh, Pal exclusive games on the NES? Like, you know, uh, New Ghostbusters 2? Is that the same thing? Okay, here we go. It's always like, boom. Uh, it was easy. Um, it's always like, there's always a popular game of the week. It's like every like two or three weeks, there's like a new like real popular game. What was the, what was the last one? Probably don't even remember anymore. Because it goes in and out of people's minds so quickly. So right now it's Pud World, and in a couple weeks it'll be something else. Because video games have no like longevity anymore. What did I just get? I got like hit by something. Or that cloud was like on me or something. It's like a sunset here. Oh, look at the bouncy helicopters. But in the era of the NES, you might have had you know Metroid or something, and it's like. You talked about Metroid for 20 years, <laughs> you know? 
you talk about Metroid to this day, video games used to have a lot more longevity, now it's like, they're very like fly by night, like, you play, you play them and then you forget about them a month later, that's how it is now. We appreciated our video games. A lot of people that, you know, that was like all they had. You know, for a while. You might only had a couple NES games, you know. Most of the people I, I, I knew as a kid didn't have many NES games. But, you know, had a batch of them. And that was it, that's what you had, and that's what you played for like a long time. It's also harder back then because you had to go to the store. You had to convince your parents to take you to the store to get something. You know, uh, can you be my human taxi and take me to Toys R Us or whatever? Take me to the mall. Take me to Sears. Take me to Electronics Boutique. Can you please drive me there? And they're like, well, we got stuff to do. Um, no. So it was like harder to get to the physical location to, to get games, but now you just download the game, so it's like easier to get them. Everything's like more, uh, what's the word? Everything's more disposable now. Boom. Ed Pink 81 thank you very much for the subs. You give the sub to Acid Pope and Gratuitous Nipple. Thank you very much. says he's just get a few games a few times a year on his birthday and Christmas. Yeah, I think a lot of people were like that. And if you got a game that sucked, you were just stuck with it. Yeah, exactly. That's how it was. It's like one of my first games I had besides Mario was Ghostbusters on NES, right? And it's like that's probably all I had for like a month or something. You know, I had Mario and Ghostbusters, so I played Ghostbusters. That's like what I had. You know, and you try to figure the game out, but you're, you know, whatever, seven years old with no internet. So, good luck. So you just play the game over and over and figure out whatever you can figure out. God damn. So if you hit both buttons together, you can, like, shoot downwards. I keep forgetting that. Something. Get that weapon back, maybe. Oh, give me that, give me that. Alright. It's getting harder now. What is this? Oh my god. Can I blow this thing up? That thing's indestructible. The indestructible blue ship. Kill this thing, R2-D2. It's nothing like R2-D2. Close enough. There we go. So these guys give you, like, upgrades. Come on. I think they have to come together for you to... hurt them. Yeah, I can get some shots in. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. They're strong. Come on. Man, okay, uh, I don't know what that is that I just got. Maybe it's points or something. Oh, crap. Come on. Right before the boss, I lose my double shot. Great. What do I hit? Out oh, there. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh! Try it again. All right, so they start you from the beginning. That, now that's very NES. They start you from the beginning of the stage. So I gotta continue. I don't know if it's unlimited or what. I guess we're gonna find out. Whoa, jeez. Man, this got hard. It got so hard so quick, guys.
gentlemen. I, I need the better weapon. Alright, this is the... I gotta take this dude off. Oh my god. Give me that. Don't die. No! And then they shoot rockets out. Is this thing supposed to be the boss? It's impossible to kill that. We can keep that damn double shot the whole game. Good luck, though. When those damn super fast rockets come out, it just destroys everything. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Give me that. Okay. Get away from me. Get away. So is this the boss now? Okay, here we go, here we go. Like right down here. Come on, open up. Oh! What kind of a freaking weapon was that? It's so fast. Like how am I supposed to avoid that? If this is unlimited continues or not. When I made uh anybody play this before? Anybody know how many stages this is right now? What if this is the last stage? That'd be amazing. Then I just end the stream. Damn you! things. And this piece of crab. Alright. And then these rockets come out. Hopefully that's the last batch of those horrible rockets. Get away, get away. Okay. Come on. Is that, oh, maybe that's a shield or something. All right, these big like laser beam things are gonna come out. I know it. What if I stay at the bottom? Maybe that's the secret. Hey, I was at the bottom. All right, so I, I can get some hits in here and then move. Yeah, okay, so that's, so he only shoots it forward. So like the first second of it, I'll get a shot in and then I'll get out of the way. I won't be greedy about it. Come on, come on, come on. All right, get out. I'll probably do about two seconds and then get out. He keeps moving forward though. That's gonna make it harder and harder, great. All right, come on. Yeah! All right. You know there's gonna be more. Yay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so it's like wave four. Oh my God. Yeah, analog, I do have it. 
What's better, NES Max or Advantage? Um. Uh. I guess the Advantage. I don't like either one of them. If you had to choose. What shampoo do I use? Uh, I just, I don't use the shampoo itself. I just stick a, a, the bottle in my ass, typically. I just keep, I've kept one bottle since the 1980s that I have up, up my ass. It's still in my ass, actually. Yeah, Pert Plus. Sammy, thank you very much for gifting a stub. Sub to star 13. upgrade this gun to anything beyond what I have here. I think the double shot is it. And then, I don't know about this. This one up top. Alright, let's see. Bonus. What is this? Just bo a bonus 10,000 points. Okay, you gotta point downwards for those guys. Get out of here. Alright, actually made it to the boss. Oh, can I just like hit this guy right from the front? I have to wait for some crap to open or anything. It's a lot better than these other guys that you gotta wait for the opening. Sounds good. Mike was given a selection at the start regarding difficulty, or does this game only have a set difficulty at first. I don't know, I'm just playing through it to see what it is right now. Um, like, we'll see like how long the game goes. I'll probably do like another run of this or whatever. It's, I would imagine it's not. I don't know, I'm like learning with you. I, I played this game before, but like, I don't know, for like 10 minutes or something. I haven't really like played it like a ton. So I always like kind of like liked it, so I wanted to put a little more time into it. See if I can get further or whatever. I've never been as far as I am right now, so I mean. I think I've only done like the first couple stages. Okay, let's see. So if you blow up those clouds, everything blows up. God. There. Look, so that's nice. If you can make it happen. If I keep that on screen and then I like... Can I destroy it? Am 
my god. There. Woo! It's those things, these guys that come from the top just think. Oh crap. So now I'm down great. Oh now I'm down to Oh crap. Is that the game over now? You don't want to get downgraded. That's a problem. Alright, give me that. There we go. Fuck! Automatic. Oh, it is game over. Oh. Okay. So what what was that? Three continues? Four continues? Uh, so you only get like three continues. All right, this game is gonna be hard as shit. I wonder how many waves it is. Let's see. All right, so now that I played one, now I have an idea what the fuck this game is. All right, so um, this is Silkworm for NES. This is gonna be hard. Let's see. It's at least five waves. I don't know. Okay, does anybody know? I mean, damn waves. 69 waves. Great. Mike liked it. Better not bring shields near Mike. What? What are you talking about, shields? Three continues, a classic NES art. Yeah, at least now we know that. Your silkworm is hard. Oh yeah, by the way, speak, hold on. Um, so, here. So we can see this thing. So there's no difficulty settings, unless there's a code to do difficulty settings or something, so. So that's it, it's just this. Yeah, there's three continues, like, do it. <laughs> So, oh, you know what? Um, if I wonder if you play this game two players, if it's like, if it's, I bet this game doesn't scale in difficulty. I'm willing to bet. So I bet you, if you play this game two players, it's probably easier. I wonder if it does though. I bet you it doesn't. This kind of game. Give me that. All right. are really important that can just like wipe out everything on the screen yeah I don't know if I'm beating this game we'll just see how far I can get can I get that, that like this thing what the hell does that say on it <laughs> no idea Oh wait, you can just hold it down. Here I am tapping. You can just hold it down. Or maybe that's only when you have the the double then here. Right? Oh. Wait, so when I wonder if you have the base weapon. So wait, this I this I can just hold down. So this way too, dude. That's awesome, like that like forward. Oh, it's going the same speed. It looks like I, it looks faster to me when it's like shooting down. All right, so shooting forward. I think when it, 
I don't know is if it's doing that when when you don't have the upgrade. I think you have to have the upgrade for it to do this, or maybe it just like looks different. I don't know. Anyway, so you can hold the button. Then. Is it faster if I tap? Hold on. I don't even think so. I think just holding it down is better. It's kind of like you can do either. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh. See, now I want to see. Oh, yeah. Look how slow that goes now. But uh, it's like a little faster if I tap like this. Okay. You really don't want to get downgraded. This sucks compared to the bubble shot thing. Kill the big plane though. There, give me that. Alright, now. See, now that looks like it's going slower. Wait a second, what? I have the. Maybe you like upgrade it again. Maybe you upgrade it twice. See this? See? Okay, so now I am going to tap. I guess there is. Oh, crap. I guess there is like two upgrades. See, this is a tap. So you gotta go back and forth between like tapping and if you get like the, if you get the really good weapon, I guess you can just kind of hold it down. Huh. Okay. And then there's like a shield. So wait, and then there's like a meter up top. Is it like I can upgrade that four times? Maybe that's what that means. All right, hang on a second. I think I'm starting to figure this out. And you probably never want to lose that. I should probably start over. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> I know I was like on the third stage, but I think you can upgrade it four times, and if, if you die, you get, like, reset. So you basically, you never want to die. It's one of these. You, want, you never want to die. Oh, wait. It looks like there's four things in my shield thing now. Wait, what? I got to figure this out. As of right now, I'm not really understanding this. see what it looks like when I get the first like upgrade when this big ship comes along this thing So it goes from blue to red. So red is, all right. That's what I didn't understand. So, okay. So like having nothing is blue and then the red bar. So that's like one. All right, let's see if I can keep this thing. And then I'll get a second bar. And the second bar is like a little, it gradually gets better and better. And then if you get four bars, then it'd be the best. So then you basically, you better never die and lose your weapon. And that's why I was able to fire like really fast. All right. Okay, that's the second one. Oh, you see it, now I can hold it down. All right, all right, all right. I thought, see how that thing like next to it looks like a shield almost? I thought it was, I don't know like what that shield thing's supposed to be, but I thought that shield thing maybe was like multiple hits or something like that. I didn't know like what was going on, but it's just like your weapon. 
Um, see, so yeah, I can totally just hold it down. If you have this power. I, man, I can't wait if I can get another one. What would it be like if I had all four? I wonder how, what would be going on. I don't think I've ever had all four. Dude, you just wrecked this guy. Dude, look at that. It seems like your auto fire speed changes as you power up. When you're weaker, yeah, because I was like tapping and then not tapping. I didn't like know what was going on. When you're weaker, tapping can help you get more damage, but eventually you don't need to tap. Yeah, exactly. Now every boss is a wimp if I don't die. That special looking power up gave two bars on the meter, you think? Oh, really? Uh, I don't know. There was a special looking one? There's like a couple different like power up things, huh? See, look at this. This is so much better. I just hold it down. It... So you just can't. Have... You can't ever die. All right. So if I die in this game, I just reset the whole game. Like, I think honestly. I mean, it's like I could work to get my power ups back, but I don't know. It's almost like not even worth it. This thing. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, that was another. Oh, it just said 10,000 bonus. Oh, I thought that those things were only giving me points. They, they are upgrading me. All right. I wait for this thing to go away, right? Yeah. I can't wait. I, I really want to get this times four. Maybe it's just stronger. I wonder. No! Is that fully? Oh, it didn't take it away. Wait, oh, it didn't take it away? Wait, yeah, it did. Wait, what? Wait. What? Oh, no wonder this is so confusing. So... I'm downgraded right now. Like, this is the base weapon, but it still says three red bars. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. The shitty bar colors threw you up. Yeah, they're throwing me off, too. Shouldn't that have got reverted to not to all blue again? Because look at this. My base weapon is... It's th it's three red bars, but it's back to my base weapon. So I don't I don't get this. This is weird. Didn't the other thing go down? So I don't know. So this bar system is like really weird. Well, okay, now they're all red. So what would happen if I got another? I wonder what would happen if I got another one now. Would it go blue again? <laughs> See, now I'm, I'm having a tap. Oh, God. He's gonna shoot the big missile out. I gotta get away from him. There, okay. All right. I wanna see what would happen if I got it. If I got another one on top of this. Yeah, they're all still red. What if it goes a completely different color? It goes yellow or something? It's so weird. So I need one of these big ships, I guess. Oh, pfft. Now I'm downgraded again. God damn it. Because the guys came out of the ceiling. So I better never go near the top of the screen. All right. Uh, yeah, it's like, I have a trouble like doing the down shot. I mean, I could just hold them both down. But if I want to go fast down, then you have to do that. And it's like weird. That's why you really you don't want to lose your power up. 
I just wanna, I wanna try to kill this thing, and then I'm here. Alright, please die. Give me that. So, oh, it, look at that, it went all blue. I don't get, I don't understand it. Well, okay, I don't get that crappy meter up top, but at least I know that, like, you just gotta keep upgrading it and, like, not really die. Here's what I'll do. I will, I'll see if I can upgrade it here on this next ship. If I die again, maybe I'll, like, restart. I don't know. Give me that. Okay, now I can hold it. See, now I don't mind shooting down. Here we go. Okay, now I'm like back in action again. Okay, what was that helicopter like? Oh, jeez. I was lucky that I didn't get, didn't get hit. Oh, this guy sucks. Yeah, you know what? I guess I'll reset. Dude. Oh my god, this is fucking hard. <laughs> I actually like tapping in shooter games as long as you don't have to tap the entire game. Well, yeah. Um, this is like that. If there's a gimmick that makes it so tapping at some moments versus others, then it's great. Yeah, I'm, I want to try to keep it, though. If you want to do the fast down tapping shots, you would need to use an arcade stick much harder with them. Yeah, exactly. The down shots is I'm having a problem with that. But that that's why I really want to keep the the fast the the upgrade so that I can so that I can just hold the button down because then shooting down is like not a problem. I don't mind ta look, so like like when it's like this, I don't mind tapping. But if I'm like going down like that, the shit I don't like. Like, like if I'm doing that, where the ship's going, like I'm in that, like that, I don't, I don't like that. But I'll tap if I just, if I'm going forward like this, like that doesn't bother me. But this shit, this shit bothers me. Now we're starting with a light, a light blue colored bar pattern thing. I mean, it still works if you do that, you can go like that. It's not like it doesn't work, but it's just not. It's just weird. All right, so this, I can get my first thing here. Come on, get him, get him. I gotta get this guy. Give me. I, so, see this one? I still can't hold it down. This is still tapping. It's the second one, I think, you get to where you can start holding it down. So I'm still having to do like this shit. So this game's all, like all about this uh, mechanic of getting his upgrades. I don't get what the shield thing is though, still. And it's weird that it's a shield because it shouldn't be, it should look like a missile or something because it's like a. Okay, now, okay, now I can hold the button down. God. So when I do get the upgrades above what I have right here, what are they even doing for me? Because the. Yeah. Boom. All right. The shield thing changes shape too. Does it? Let me look. Uh, it looked like it was the same still. I've been trying to figure out what the, this game was called for 15 years. Fucking silkworm. Yep. 
It's a cool, I really like this box cover. Like, this is an awesome box cover. We talk, I think. We talk about like NES games with like cool like box art. Look at that, that's awesome. I, I like that one. Nobody, nobody's like talking about how cool the fucking silkworm box art is. What the hell? Internet sucks. <laughs> it reminds you of mask. According to the manual, the badge fills up as you pick up bonus items. Okay. You go from ensign to lieutenant to commander to captain. On captain badge, you keep the twin sphere fire until the game over. So that's so the badge is supposed to be your rank. Oh. That's what that is? I thought it was a shield, so it's like a... Oh, it's like a military badge. Oh. I was thinking like an old-fashioned, like, knight's shield or something. All right. That ma it makes more sense. All right. Gotcha. So you're saying that if I... If I rank it up high enough, that it'll stay forever? Does that mean I wouldn't lose my item anymore? Okay, that's the next one. Oh, it'll change shapes when I get the next. Fuck! So the next time I upgrade, that badge is gonna change, huh? And it'll, I think it like looks different or it's a different color or something. Cause that'll mean I went, what, from like Ensign to Lieutenant or something? I'm gonna get one more thing. I wanna see this badge change. This whole beginning of this stream is just me trying to understand this fucking game. So you understand. So basically it seems like you need to do this game on one life until you get fully powered. Yeah, until you get fully powered. Like until you're a captain. But by then it'll probably be like the end of the game. Let me get one more thing and see that and see this badge changes. All I'm trying to do is just fucking understand the game right now. Not enough yellow levels in games. I want to do, oh crap, oh game over, great. So did that revert? No, I still have the five, or I still have the four, uh, red thing, so I'm, I'm still gonna do this because I want to see this bad change. I'm gonna kill the first dude. Whatever they're called, I don't know, the big ships. I don't know, I'm gonna have to start naming these things. this thing. Once I do this, I want to see if this badge changes. If I can kill it. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, yes. It did. The badge shape did change. Okay. So what? That badge is... Is that Lieutenant? What did you say? What did the guy for the instruction manual say? It's What is it? Ensign Lieutenant like Captain or something? Uh, Tavern Cat DM, thanks for the sub. Having a second player as the Jeep definitely helps as long as they aren't trash. I see. So it doesn't. So this game doesn't scale, huh? If you go into the star things, it acts like shields. This is star things. Wait, what star things? I had a thing once that there was like a star on my helicopter. Is that what you mean? How do I get that? How do I get the star things? I had that happen to me once, but it was like on accident. Uh, Zelda's cooch, thanks for the sub. No, forget about the top 10 tappy games. Uh, I want top 10 games with yellow looking levels. How about that for a video? What's another, can you think of another yellow looking level? I'm gonna try to think of one. How about level six? Dungeon and Zelda 1 is like yellow. <laughs> With the wiz robes and all that. Then there's uh, Silkworm Wave 3. <laughs> what if it's top 2? That's it, top 2. Level 6 Zelda Silkworm Wave 3. Bye. See you next time, guys. That's the video. That'd be a great video. All right, this thing. Give me that. Okay, now I can hold it down again. So, okay, and then when I fill up those, it'll go to the next badge. So in two-player mode, one player is a jeep on the ground, and the other player is a, co a helicopter. That is cool as shit. Yeah, it, it is. Um, which means this is a two-player co-op game. And I, man, when I was a kid, I didn't think there was like all that many like two-player co-op games. I knew like Contra and like, like Bubble Bobble and a couple games, but as the years go by, I'm learning that there was actually a lot more two-player like co-op games on the NES than than you think. So now I don't know what to do. It's like, should I just keep going and play out all my continues every time? Or should I always like start over? Like, I don't, I don't really know how to handle this. Yeah, Moon Patrol. Yeah, the Jeep would be like Moon Patrol. But thanks uh, Zelda's Cooch 2 for the sub. Firepower, oh, Firepower 2000. Yeah, I was playing that not long, not long ago. In the fourth and sixth boss, you can get this special weapon. You won't lose after continue either. Oh, really? So if I so if I upgrade enough and I'm like the captain or whatever it is, and I get far enough, then they they stop like taking away the good weapon from you, basically. Yeah, I, yeah. I've tried the jeep. It's I think it's hard as the jeep. Maybe we'll mess with the Jeep later. I'm gonna do this right now. Now I wanna fucking play this game. Like, I'm gonna do this, like, co op. I don't know. 
Should I just try? maybe I because I you know I'm like new to this game. Maybe I should just like just try to beat it and play my continues out for now, and then like later I could try to like do better, like have a better run of it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know how to handle this. Or if I just just every death is completely like reset. I don't know. But I don't th know if I can make it through the whole game like completely like no death or anything. So. I mean, the whole goal here is to make it, what, to the captain level, is it? Or commander, or whatever the top like, level is, so I, so, so I stop losing my good stuff. That seems to be the goal. So... So it seems like if I play well earlier in the game, even if maybe I die like once or something, like maybe that's all right, but you don't want to die too much. As long as, because I, because I want to be able to make it to the top badge. Does this guy shoot out? Any yeah, yeah, he does. Your policy lately is to just play games until game over. I feel like you learn the game better that way rather than constantly riding the reset button. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I like to reset. Sometimes I like to do that. I don't know. There's enough power-ups that you don't need to restart to get to full power again. Look at Mikey's captain now. I don't think I am yet, right? This, this is what I want to know next. I want to know... I think this is this is the second rank I'm at, right? So this is like, what is it? It's what, it's like, what are the, what are the tiers? I know I have like the second one right now, and then there's gonna be one above this, and I'm assuming there's one above that. So what is there, like four tiers or something? Captain with 15 crests is what you're reading in 15 crests. Top rank is architect? Dude, is that, is that real? The Famicom version of Airwolf is a shmup. Oh, really? Shit, hang on. <laughs> and it's different than the American version. That's interesting. Dude, I think I had only tried the US version. I'll try that. Dude, that's a great comment right there. Who said that? Red Zero. Yeah, dude, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll, te I'll check that out. I don't know if I've tried the Famicom Airwolf before. That's cool. I didn't know about that. Thank you. I've been wanting to play Pepper, too, because I played it at an arcade recently. Um... Like, I don't know if I do a stream. I want to, like, play it on my own a little bit and then see if I, like, really like it enough to, like, do a stream on it. Does anybody know, like, a good way to play Pepper 2? Like, the old arcade game? Like, is it just, like, MAME? Is that, like, the only way to, like, play that game? As far as, like, playing it at home, if you, you know? Like, I don't know if there's ever, like, a port of it. on anything because I was playing it in the arcade and I kind of I liked it I think I liked it I mean I only played it for a little bit and I had forgotten about that game and I had played it like a really fucking long time ago so I was like holy shit pepper too and then I'm like okay that would be a cool thing to stream but then I don't think it's like on the mister or anything Here's the thing with that, the Mister is like it's it's so awesome, but they it, they take a long time to add games to like the arcade thing. 
when they do, it's great, and it works great and everything, but it's just like, I wish they would add games more. I really want like all like the cinematronic stuff, and I want you know stuff like that, it's like Pepper Two, whatever. When, when they, you know what's funny? I was I was like waiting and waiting to get a Mister because I was like they need to add more arcade games, and then they they added Mister Do and that like core, and then I was like okay now I'll get it because I wanted Mister Do, but they still need to add more shit on there. Like there's so much stuff that is not on there still. And I feel like they haven't like put anything on there in a while. I mean, I haven't looked super recently, but but I update it probably every you know month or two or whatever. So it's like I'm, I usually keep pretty up to date with that, and it's like I feel like they haven't released anything in a while. They have the Saturn core on there now, which is great. It works well too, I think. I mean, you have to click the boot ROM thing, but other than that, it's like, it's it's good. Can this thing die? Oh, it di I died and I died at the same time. Fine, I'll take it. Yeah, I like the pixel art. Ooh, look at this. That looks nice. Dude, that's a nice looking. Especially on a CRT, it's very glowy. So you miss you miss that. Like I'm looking in the capture. You don't you don't get that like back glow that comes from out of the CRT. And that and that's how it would look on a fucking L C D, which is shitty. Cause dude, that you, on my dude, hang on a second. This is like the best example ever of this. Cause guess what? Those mountains are like in silhouette, right? And it's like the sun, it, the sun is behind the mountains. So to me, because the CRT has a glow to it, it's almost like the light of the sun is like coming out. But then you look at it on the capture and it's like dull and flat. And it looks not nearly as good as it does at coming, like the glow coming out of the CRT. That is like the fucking best, one of the best examples I've ever seen of why you would fucking want a fucking CRT over a fucking LCD screen with retro games. Right there. I should fucking, I wonder if I could get like a good, like actual picture of that and make like a comparison. Hold on a second. doesn't look like it doesn't look like it on my phone either shit <laughs> how am I gonna get that I want I want here wait it doesn't really look like it on my phone either oh not at all crap I don't know how I could do that but that's unbelievable. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to do a fucking CRT. Maybe I need to. Do, sometimes I film my CRT with the, with the camera. Maybe I have to set that up. Huh? CRTs create optical illusions. For example, of a character sprite in Kung Fu, his face looks more detailed on a CRT, even though it's just a face with a black dot in the middle for the eye. Yeah, there's like lots of things, but like this right here is one of the better examples. I feel like because this is that this example, I think would be clear to anybody. Sometimes I, 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 there's like an example that goes around with like a skeleton, and it's like two skeletons next to each other, and it's like you can see the difference. But this is like a really good example because it's like any anybody in the world could understand like a, a sun setting behind mountains you know and then you look at the picture next to it where it looks like really fucking flat it's like that looks like the fucking light is coming out dude that's all that's great look at these fucking ufos here now we're getting UFOs. Are those drones or something? Well, I guess these things were like kind of robot things too, I guess. Man. Oh boy. Oh god, look at 
this crap. And I'm like totally like downgraded. Oh, here it comes. Here. All I know is this thing's gotta die. Damn it! Alright. Oh, 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 look at that! Is that the top one? I'm on stage six. I think somebody in the chat said once you get to stage six, it's when it happens. That, I feel like that might be the top one. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, crap! Well, let's see. No, I got downgraded again. I still got down. Wait a second. Wait. Oh no, wait, this is, I have, I have a rapid fire. Wait a second. This, I guess that is the top one. I, Cause I'm, look at that, I'm holding it down. Oh, so I don't have like the double shot, but I can, but I have the rapid fire. Okay. Yeah, and I still have it. So now I'm gonna have it forever. Now I just gotta make it. So yo, how many waves are there in this game? Anybody know? All right, so now I get this. It's like military badges. Dude, this guy's gotta go. Give me that. All right, now I got the upgrade again. Jeez. And then somebody said something about an architect. Was that like real? Mike, you have a person in your chat called Arachnoid Addict. Just thought you'd like to know. Or Arcanoid. He's probably gonna leave now that I said that. <laughs> um, yeah, Arc Arcnoid. Arcnoid, there. I was having trouble saying that. But I like Arcnoid. Um, yo, the Arcnoid dude. Uh. Are you here, Arknoid guy? Type something, cause I wanna show him something. I think he, I think he's here. Um, hold on a second. Oh, I don't have it. Where is it? Hold on. A, hold on a second. Um, I tell you what. I'm gonna take a break, cause I wanna show him something. I got, I wanna show him my like Arknoid thing. I'll, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna take a break anyway. Star Evil. This is number two out of 52. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, hang on. What? Hold up. I know to move out of the way now. I can't even... And then there's enemies on that side. Hold up, I can do this, I can do this. There. That's such a terrible way to start. There is no person that ever turned that game on and didn't die as soon as they played it. So this is a troll game. This game's kind of like me. It's a, it's a troll. At least it's a vertical shmup, I like that. It looks like maybe the worst one I've ever seen in my life, but. Look at this frame rate. That's level two? Same shit? <laughs> Wait, I wanna try, I gotta see this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, ah! Hang on. I swear to God, I'm, I'm tr like not trying to do that. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kill myself just so I can have like the lives. All right, I'm gonna be ready when it starts. Here we go, here we go. Let's be ready when it starts. There. I wanna actually make it somewhere. Jesus, that's so terrible. So I'm gonna assume that every single level they do that. Wow, this is so poor. Yeah, and you guys know I play a lot of shmups, so I would I would have a semi-decent idea. And this is not good. This is not good. I don't know if I can fly over this like yellow, so. You can't. Oh, ah! oh my 
my god, it starts you all the way at the beginning of the level, too? This is like the worst fucking shmup ever made. I want to see if I can make it to the end of level two before I move on from this fucking thing. Oh my god. So, I, what did I even hit there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, what did I even hit there? Oh fuck! I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make it to the end of fucking level two. Where's this boss? Is the boss not loading now? This game, it like glitched out. Dude, I can't even- It knew, you know why? It knew I did well that time. The game knew I did well. I'm gonna have to fucking... Dude, this is broken. All right, the boss fucking loaded this time, at least. Uh, oh, fuck! Now that was my fault. He comes all the way down to the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna see the second fucking level. It's gonna happen. Thank you, uh, Miami Cola one for that sub. Appreciate that very, very much. All you guys that sub, thank you. What? I didn't. Ah! I didn't hit anything. Come on, we're gonna fucking see level two. Now, I, now I'm gonna. I'm totally gonna look at this later and see that. I, I hit nothing. This game is fucking broken. All right. Fuck! I beat this boss like once. How did I even do that? Smooth music is terrible too, by the way. I beat it, I beat it, I beat it. Here we go, no! All right, I'm alive, I'm alive on level two. This is what I wanted to do, here we go. Jesus. This is the most important shooter ever made. These, oh my god, and that's it. Oh, wow. All right, um, Illuminator. I can't see anything. come back on. Ever? Does the light just never come back on? I guess I'm gonna wait for him to go past that ladder. It's when you hit the fuckers. Okay. Alright guys, I am back. Um... I saw what was going on in the chat here. So I specifically got uh, a thing for this guy in my chat. His name is Arknoid Addict. And I wanted to show him something, but apparently he can't hear my stream. Um, he can only, he can see it, but he can't hear it. So um, here's what I'm gonna do for Arknoid Addict. Um, 
See, this is going to be hard, though, because I, wa I wanted to explain something. Um, maybe somebody can type what I was going to say to him. First of all, Arknoid Attic. Uh, here's my Arknoid Marquee. I wanted to show this to him. This is for Ark because this is, I have a guy that likes Arknoid, and I do, too. So this is, this is my Marquee for Arknoid. So that's one thing. So that was for him. But then I have another thing, too. So, um, and this is the part. If somebody could, like, type this to him. So, I'll try to explain this. So, this is my Arknoid controller, right? This is my Arknoid controller for NES. Okay? This is, like, the start button, and this is the, um, you know, you go back and forth with that. It's like a spinner. So, you play Arknoid, you go, like, left and right with that. So, this controller, though, I had opened this controller up, because it was like it wasn't going far enough from left to right. There might have just been something wrong with it. I don't know. But basically, I kind of did my own crappy mod job on it to make it so this dial can go a little further from side to side. I think it, this because this is going. This is like I don't know, seven years ago or something. So I had opened this up, and I think we cut a thing inside of it to make it so the dial could go further from side to side because it wasn't, when I would bring the paddle on the screen to the left, it wasn't like going all the way to the left. And then when I br would bring the paddle to the right, it wasn't going all the way right. So we opened this up and like cut a thing so that the dial would like go further. So yeah, I don't know if somebody can tell him that. Oh, so somebody's paraphrasing for you. Yeah, read uh, Duo's comment there. I said that as though he could hear me. He can't hear me. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I'm trying to help out the guy who can't hear. Here, wait. There you go. I'm helping. I'm helping him out. He can't hear. All right. Anyway, let's get back to Silkworm. Um, so I guess I have the. I guess the eagle is the fully powered thing. He wants to know if you got it working or not. Um, yeah, I think I did at the time. I think I still wasn't like totally satisfied with it, but it was a lot better than it was. I don't. I probably just need to get another Arc Arcnoid controller. I don't know. Maybe we'll mess with it after this. But right now I'm doing this. But I I have a thing. I real I like spinner games. I think like Nintendo and these other companies, whatever, PlayStation, whoever, PC, I think spinner games and trackball games as well should be brought back. Because it's like, why does every game have to just be like a fucking control stick and, you know, and a D-pad or whatever. Like, there's so many games you can make with a spinner or, or with a trackball. I don't know why controllers just have to be uh, just D-pad and an arcade, uh, D-pad and a control stick, and then that's what we're stuck with forever. Which those are great and fine and everything, but I think I think we're missing out on a lot of games that could have otherwise been. Is that like full game over? Damn. Well, now I'm interested in this though. Now I'm interested in this. this uh, let, let's do this Arknoid thing for a minute here. Hang on. Let me see if I can make this happen here. Hang on a second. Um, I don't remember. 
remember if this goes in the first port or what. Oh, hang on a second. It's been a while. Let me put it in the second port first and see if that even does, does that work? I don't think it does. Maybe, I wonder if I have to start the game with the regular controller, and then it'll work? I don't know, give me a second to figure this out. I don't remember. All right, let's try starting it with the regular, what did it lock up? Here, hang on. It might, maybe, it, maybe that was a problem, it might have locked up. It's work. It's working. Okay, sweet. Okay, so I'm using the Arknoi controller right now, and let's say I will tell you how it is. I get that. Honestly, it's actually not bad. Yeah, it is gone all the way from the sides. So I guess that is fixed. Sweet. Nice. Okay, yeah, I think it does actually work. I'm gonna get yelled at. Change this, change this stream description. I'm gonna go back to Silkworm. I'm just messing with this for a minute, just so we can see this. This game's great, though. Whoa. Does does he have? Does the Arknoid addict have the Arknoid controller? I am the Arknoid addict. You like that? I'm giving so much attention to the guy that can't even hear my stream anyway. I have to do like a full stream on just this game. Now, now I just want to play this. You fuck. Come here. If I get that, it doesn't that open up the, the warp thing? Oh, there's like a warp thing that opens on the side. I forget what you, there's one uh, thing that you get to open up that warp. I haven't played this in forever. <laughs> I like Breakout a lot too. You guys play Break? That's a game I like. So on Atari uh, 2600 with the paddles, that game's fucking cool. Atari, and there you got another good reason to play Atari 2600 still. Because if you want a fucking paddle game, Atari was all about paddle games. And fucking Warlords and shit. Warlords is awesome. Where's the fucking PlayStation? Where's the where's the fucking paddle games on the on any of the modern systems? On the Xbox X series, X S X series, where's the fucking paddle? I don't fucking see it. You know what I say? If you, your system doesn't have a fucking paddle, go fuck yourself. How about that? And here's my here right here, bam, NES paddle. Atari Paddle. Actually, I can't say that because I don't think TurboGrafx-16 had a paddle. <laughs> so never, never mind. I don't think Genesis had one either. Or did it? Did Genesis have a paddle? I don't think they. I don't think they ever did anything with paddle on there. They should have. That would be fucking awesome, dude. A Genesis fucking game with a paddle. 
the holy shit, that would be the fucking coolest thing ever. Somebody make that. Dude, fucking some hack. Yo, some hack person, make it so that you could take, like, an Arknoid controller. Now, how would you do it? You'd have to have, like, an adapter or something. I don't know. Those, you know those fucking companies, is like, Retrobit and, uh, like, the fucking uh, 8-bit dough and all that shit? Where, why doesn't 8-bit dough make a fucking Sega Genesis PAL controller and then somebody can make a fucking PAL game for it? Like, that's what I want. I'm going to play this again. Dude, this game's great. I'm gonna go play, now I got this hooked up. I'll go back to Soul Farm, but I'm going to play this one more time. Sega Genesis port is compatible with Atari controllers. Oh, yeah. Uh, but is it is it compatible, like, the other way? I know that you can you can use a Genesis controller on an Atari 2600, but can you use... I think I've done that before, and I think the answer was no. I don't think you can use Atari controllers on Genesis. So somebody would have to, like... I don't know, it'd be some kind of, like, mod job or something. That's what I'm saying. Like, one of these companies needs to, like, make something like that. That'd be fucking cool as shit. Dude, I want to play, like, a... I want to play in a Sega Genesis. Is there a Harknoid on Sega Genesis? But what is it? With a fucking D-pad? Hold on a second. Can I fucking pause this? Somebody look that up. Is there a Harknoid on Sega Genesis? Because then it would, if there is, then there, it would only be with a fucking D-pad, and that would be ass. There is? So what, you just fucking play it with a fucking D-pad? Dude, that sucks. Dude, if there is an Arknoid already on Genesis, then somebody needs to fucking do that. Like, what the fuck? People don't want to do that kind of stuff because it's an actual, you know, they'll, they'll like hack Zelda 2 or something, but then to make an actual like controller that's like a physical thing, people don't want to do that. That's why I say like one of these companies, that, it's like that retro bit company, right? Or 8 bit do, or one of them. Those are the only people I can think, or Hyperkin or whatever. But every time I buy one of their things, it, I'm not happy with it. It's always like some piece of crap. So not them. I don't think I've ever gotten a pro. I, I had a few products from them. I had that like Super Nintendo mouse they did, and that sucked. And I had the uh, that fucking crappy uh, system. The fucking oh, the Retron Five. That thing's like a fucking piece of trash. So yeah, not them. But like Retrobit um, has some nice controllers. And so does, uh, like, 8-Bit Do, Do has nice controllers. Like, if they, that would probably be the best person to do it. It's like 8-Bit Do. You know, the thing with them is, like, all, they want to make everything wireless. And I'm, like, oh, just a fucking wired guy. And they're wired. Uh, they're wireless. Um, oh, that was the fucking item right there. Their wireless stuff, like, works really well. It's, like, really quality. But I don't care. I still want the fucking wire. <laughs> So I'm like, can they, I feel like a lot of their stuff doesn't have wires, and I want, I want 8-Bit to, to make, like, wired stuff more. You know, uh, speaking of Doe, that Doe is the name of, uh, the last fucking guy in this game. Pretty sure, right? He's like, it's like a head. This, could, this, should, this should be on the list of, like, best NES games. Dude, you get the fucking this with the fucking, with this controller. It was great. This is all I fucking need right here. Fuck all the rest of the shit. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna play it eight million times to get anywhere. I'm gonna go back to Silk Worm. But anyway, uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to do like a real like Arknoid stream someday because I fucking I like I like that. And now I I know that the I thought there was something I wasn't happy about with that. 
But actually, I think it works really well. So, yeah, one of these days I'll just sit for like hours and play Arknoid. <laughs> but anyway, I gotta get back to the point of the stream, which was Silkworm. Hope you enjoyed Arknoid Addict. He can't hear me. <laughs> Dan Basque, uh, thank you very much for a tier one sub. Is that a pad or a mouse? Are you asking about the Arknoid controller? Here, it's like this. Uh, it was like this. You turn this like left to right, and this is like the start button. That's it. Castlevania with the Arknoid controller? Yeah, right, if like other games like worked with that. I had tried that with stuff before. It was like, uh, oh yeah, we did a Let's Play a long time ago and we, we tried to play like, I think like Castlevania and some other games with the Power Glove. And the Power Glove, you can move like left to right. And I think if you go like this, you could like, with, you could whip, but that was like it. So it was like the whole game, you're just doing this and then whip and it was like, it was really not good. And even worse than that is the U-Force. The U that thing, you think the power glove's bad? The U-Force is worse. U-Force is worse. in person and I'm playing Silkworm on the NES. I like this game. How far, so how far was I? That was wave six. Does anybody know? Like, meaning like, is, is it like, what is it, like eight waves? I'm gonna guess there's eight. I'm gonna blow up. Go, 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 go. Got it, all right. So I need to make it like relatively far without dying. I at least need to, I should try to beat like the first like three stages without dying. And then after that point, stick with it. Cause I probably won't beat it unless like I have the lives to do it. So I'll try to do like deathless for maybe the first two stages at least. So like wave, wave one and wave two, it would be nice to make it by without dying. And then maybe I'd be able to beat this damn game, we'll see. Come on. There we go. Thank God. Oof. Those things suck. Stage two, there's landmines, uh, wh right, which what would make it hard for the jeep. So you like bounce over them or something. Nine waves, seriously? Mike could have been a good Nintendo power counselor, like if I asked Mike how to beat Dracula, he'd have tips. You mean in Castlevania? Uh, Well, you either want the holy water or the crosses. You want to get the triple cross. You go up and down. You go up and down the stairs um, to fill up your hearts. Then, uh, when he opens his cape, that's when you jump and you whip him in the head. And uh, you you can jump towards Dracula, and you can even go into his sprite. But when he when he spawns, when Dracula spawns. Um, 
he'll spawn on top of you and hurt you. But after he spawns and he's standing there, you get about three Simons away from him, and then he opens his cape, then you jump, and you can jump into his sprite, so don't be, like, worried about, like, touching Dracula. Like, it won't kill you. It, it's only when he spawns will it, like, kill you to touch him. Um, and then you keep whipping him in the head until his energy bar goes down. Then he'll turn into the blue beast, and, you know, if you have the, uh, the holy water, you can stun lock him, and then you just keep hitting him in the head. Or, if you have the the secondary kind of option, I guess, is the um, the cross. But you want to have ideally, you want to have like the times three, so you can do like the triple crosses. So either either way, crosses or holy water. But I probably say holy water is probably the better way because then you can stun lock. Holy holy water is what you want in Castlevania one more than anything else. So yeah, there's your counselor tip. Maybe I could have been good at that. I could be good at that if it's like games I know from like on NES. Should I do should I do a Mike's counselor series? People have to say that stuff. They're like, why, why don't you do like a series about that? It's like, isn't that what I just did though? Isn't that I just did it. It's done. Watch my streams. That's the shit series. The series is what we're fucking doing already. It's there. It's done. Or they say, well, hey, Mike, you should do, like, a podcast. This is a podcast. I'm fucking talking to you. About it. Like, it basically is. And this way, I have people in my chat, and they bring up the subjects to talk about. And then you can hear my fucking responses about things. Because I don't know, what, let's say I did do a podcast and I didn't have a chat. What, what the fuck, I don't even know what the fuck I would talk about. What am I going to talk about, like the latest news or something? I don't fucking care. You know? I'd rather talk about what you guys want to talk about. Somebody comes in there and they're like, yo, Mike, Arknoid's cool. And then we can talk about Arknoid for an hour. I like that. So I didn't make it quite all the way. It's like, should I restart? I said I would. I said I would. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to make it past the first two stages without dying. Once I get to stage three, then I'll keep going. We need how to beat Contra three on hard. Ugh. How to? fucking practice. You can watch my streams and see what I did. Um, but like, how to? I don't know, man. With, with like fucking Contra, it's like, you gotta have good hand-eye coordination. You gotta be able to tap the fucking button quick. You gotta, like, I don't know, you gotta have the fucking reflexes for it. And Some people probably just don't, you know? Like, honestly, like, I... I or maybe you could, but you have to fucking practice a lot. And I think a lot of people, like, aren't willing to put in the time to practice. You gotta fucking... Like, that's a game... Like, that's almost, like, work. I mean, I don't consider Contra work. Some of these hard games, like, are, are kind of work. They always say, like, I feel like Ghost and Goblins shit, is, that's, like, almost more work than it is fun. You know? Or like trying to beat Goonies 2 on NES, that's fucking work. That's not even, that's not fun, that's fucking work. You know? Believe it or not, I don't think Goonies 2 is fun. <laughs> you know? Big shock. But yeah, like Contra, I don't even know. Cause you could tell, you could tell somebody all day long like how to do certain things, but then you hand them the controller and then they can't do it. So the, the only way to really do that for for that game, for con for Contra, like you can do that with some games, like if it's like fucking Shadowgate or something, you could, you, like Shadowgate, it's like, okay, click this, then click that, then click that, then you get through the room. Like that, you could, that you could easily like do that, but 
to make a guide on like how to beat Alien Wars, Contra Alien Wars is like the only way I can imagine doing that is you'd have to be in the room with me, and then we'd like do a part together, and then like I would like show you how to do it, and then I hand you the controller, then you do it, and I'd be like, oh, you're doing this wrong, and I'd have to like go back and forth with the person. It's too, um, because you never know what the other, what the player's, like, problem is going to be with that kind of thing. Like, there's so many variables with a game like that, that it's like, if I made some kind of guide, it wouldn't, it pro it wouldn't include enough information, probably, for somebody to really be able to watch it and then be able to do it themselves. I don't know how, how I could do that kind of video nor would I want to sounds like a nightmare because then somebody would be like hey Mike I, I was following your Contra Alien Wars guide and I'm still stuck that's what it would be and then I'd be like oh well what is the problem and they're like well I'm stuck on the on this guy and uh, whatever and, and then I'd have to give like more information it's like I'd have to I'd have to like continually like update the video so I don't know, it just sounds like an absolute fucking nightmare. I'm gonna like make a fucking video like that or a series like that. Just, I, I still can't do it. And the other thing about that is all those kind of games, like I beat those on my own, right? Like, like I play Contra, I just, I learned how to do it and you should be able to learn how to do it. Especially now in the era of like yeah, of YouTube and Twitch and stuff, you have all these people people that you can watch to see what they did. You you look at a playthrough and see what somebody did, and then you know try to do what they did. You know. But like I said, even even with that said, with a game like Contra or uh, Alien Wars or, or Contra, like hard, any of those Contra games, it's like at a certain point it comes down to like hand-eye reflexes and you know, and some some people I don't think really are as good as other people at doing that kind of thing, and may, maybe they'd be better at a different like genre of game. Like I fucking suck at fighting games, you know. I can't my I can't like wrap my fucking brain around that shit. Can't do it. Not for me, you know. But maybe that same person might have a hard time with like contra hardcore, you know. So it's like, I don't know. I leave, I leave that job to somebody else. Somebody else can make those videos, get like guides on how to beat games or whatever. Like, I don't know, man. I just want to stream. You, you can get what you get out of my streams. That's all I can do for you. Bam, fucking wrecked that guy that time. There's also a lot to be said, just learning things on your own. Yeah, oh my god, like, absolutely. I, I feel like you should learn it on your own anyway. Like, like I want to call you and talk about... Uh, now the fucking thing went off the screen. Hang on, what did it say? Mike, I want to call you and talk about my cock. Oh, I'm so glad I scrolled back up to see that. Um, okay. Why do you gotta call me, though? Just fucking type it in the chat. Practice ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> right? That's what they say. I don't have time. That's what they say. I uh, I would do it, but I don't have I don't have the time to do it. Or, you know what my favorite is? Pe the people that don't have a CRT or like a tube TV, and then they they say like they they say I don't have the time. I I don't have the time to get a CRT. That's what some some people say. That's like the excuse. And it's like, okay, but you had time to jack off the porn on the internet. You had time to get drunk. You had time to, like, gorge your face with, like, 800 slices of pizza. But you don't have, you don't have the time, though. It's such a bunch of fucking bullshit.
or then the other people go, uh, but but me kid me kid thinks uh, the LCD screen is just fine, Mike Mick. They go me me kid me kid thinks it's fine, Mick. That's what they say to me, and I'm like, yeah, but your kid is two years old and drools on himself. So why are you taking his fucking opinion about anything? But me kid, Mick. Whenever somebody goes to that as their argument, then you know they've lost the argument and you can just stop because... Like, the, ki the kid is literally in the backyard shoveling dirt at with his hand and, like, eating dirt. And then they're like, Timmy, don't eat the dirt. And then you sit the kid in front of, like, a TV and he's, like, drooling looking at it. And then the parent's like, oh, yeah, I think he do Timmy does like the, the LCD screen. Yeah, because Timmy's brain isn't formed yet. Fuck, what just happened? I don't want that. My kids hate Silkworm, therefore this game sucks. Yeah. More like that dude thought this game was too hard and didn't want to play it because it wasn't like a fucking Kirby level difficulty. So he's gonna say it sucks instead. Unless, like, I, I might not beat this game right now, and that's, like, fucking fine, you know? Who fucking knows? Let the fucking game kick my ass. Some, some of these games take a fuck, take me many years to fucking get through and beat, you know? But they're still fucking fun. I'm not gonna be like, oh, so, me kid thinks it sucks. Me kid. You should be like over the age of 65 if you're gonna play this game, don't you think? Uh, Dan Crook One, thank you very much for the tier one sub. This conversation doesn't have enough to do with assholes. Maybe we'll talk about assholes later. I was talking about earlier uh, putting a shampoo bottle in my ass. And somebody asked me what kind of shampoo bottle I use. To which I responded that I have a shampoo bottle in my asshole. And it's been there. It's been there my whole life. Can't get it out. You think this game is... I think this game is quite good, totally on par in terms of action. As a Super Nintendo or Genesis shmup? See, that seems to imply to me that you think that NES shmups are inferior, and I don't necessarily know if I agree with that. There probably is more good shmups on, like, Genesis than NES or Super Nintendo, like, in, in quantity. But as far as quality, um, why do you just fucking keep doing that? Uh, as far as quality, um, I think there's really good shmups on NES. What? Or well, I just thought of like that. Uh, what's like that game called? Um, Crisis Force is a, is a shmup. That's on Famicom though. I'm trying to think, what what shmups do I really like on like NES? I like this one. How about this one? <laughs> Me. Oh no. And what level is this? That doesn't even fucking tell me. I don't even have any idea what level. How many times did I die? Like, I don't even fucking know. I have no idea. Great. We're on, having all this conversation. Was that my first death? Oh boy. 
This is not the part that you want to lose your weapon. I read Mike has a horse cock, so theoretic theoretically he does not need the bottle. He can just bend his long wang around and back and insert instead. See that that would be good, but the bottle's already stuck up there. If I ever get the bottle out, then I'll stick my horse cock up my ass. You see you see what the problem is? That's, that is a good idea, though. If I ever get that bottle unlodged from my ass, then I'll stick my horse cock into my asshole. Thank you for the comment. Mike, you can change the button combo for in-game menu to something that you don't want to... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta fix that. I should do that right now. I just keep forgetting to fucking do it. I'm on wave four. Did, does anybody, did I only die once? If I only died once, I'll keep going. I don't know how many fucking times I died here. size rumor about Mike, yeah. Well, I also have a bad back, how about that? Did you hear that rumor too? You're at one death so far in this run, thank you. so bad. see what those things look like. They go they always go by so fast. Like I keep thinking maybe there there's those are like a jetpack guy. Okay, there we go. Like that fucking thing. Like pause that. Like what does that look like going by? If I can ever pause it quick enough. Boom. Mike, you ever stick a banana peel into a empty Pringles jar, put it between two couch cushions. Wait, do what? Put a banana peel into a semi-empty Pringles jar and then put it between two couch cushions and fuck it? Would your dick still fit in it if you have a fucking banana in it, though? I heard you are a vampire. Yes, that, don't tell anybody that though. I really do appreciate how clean, how clean Mike's game capture is. 
Now that's a comment that I like. Thank you very much. That's from Zombie. Oh, they only want to talk about my horse cock. They don't want to fucking talk about how nice my game capture is. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I've done a lot with my retro gaming setup to get it to be a nice capture for you. So thank you very much. Orange Otter Pop says Jesus Christ. What about why you say that? What's the problem? Why not just fuck a microwaved? Oh, you're talking about like microwaving fruit? Wait, what? You would mic so you would take like a piece of fruit and you'd microwave it. So pan panic farm. So what do you do? So Panic Farm takes like a grape and sticks it in the microwave and then puts a little like pinhole in it and goes to town. That's how it, it got weathered. Oh yeah, there's like somebody's called Weathered Pecker in here, right? Have, I, have you played the sequel to this on Super Nintendo? You forget what it's called. Is there a sequel to this on Super Nintendo? Is there Silkworm 2? It's not going to be called that. They call it something else. Oh, are you going to say it's, it's called uh, Gradius 3 on Super Nintendo? Oh, Gradius 3 on Super Nintendo. Yeah, that's the sequel to Silkworm on NES. Yeah, yeah. Am I interested in trying a no-death run of Cobra Triangle? Uh, no. <laughs> I like Cobra Triangle, uh, and I'd like to beat it, which I haven't yet. No death? Um, ask me that question after I've beaten that game normally. Probably not. Uh, I, would I would like to beat Cobra Triangle like one day because I, I enjoy it it's a pretty fun game but no death uh, I don't know I don't know if I care that much I like it maybe if I was like let's say I was streaming it for like a couple days and then I beat the game and I had gotten like really good at it then maybe ooh there you go oh is it the fucking clouds that do it second but the clouds also turn red wait what do they have to be like the red cloud I, I should test that I guess but I don't want to like die so the clouds do the star thing huh also did I still only die at one time interested in, that'd be awesome to fucking do that with this. I'll do a fucking no death silkworm. Cobra Triangle's fucking cool though. I don't know, maybe, maybe someday. I'm just, my brain is so like tuned on this at the moment, it's hard for me to think about Cobra Triangle. <laughs> be real. I cannot die here. I really like this game. Come on. Got him. Thanks for the question they lost in the town. Oh, Swiv, or whatever. Yeah. 
Hold on a second. I'm going to write that down, too. So we have Famicom, Airwolf, and that, like, Swiv. I've, I've played that before. I feel like I like that. Dude, I forgot about that game. Yeah, I got to mess with that. We got, now I got two good suggestions on this stream. Thank you. You guys are really great today. It's not Silkworm, it's Cement Snake. You would like to see Temple of Doom NES Deathless? Yeah, not me. Get it from a different streamer. Wave 5, is that the level? Huh? I'm on Wave 6 right now. To be honest, this does look pretty good. It is. It's fun, I like it. Game is Swiv or Fire. Oh, is Swiv the same thing as Firepower 2000? Oh. I was thinking it was like a fucking different game. Um. I need to do. I, so, I mean, I have it like on Everdrive, but the cartridge I have is Firepower 2000. Um. And I, I, th I think I like that game from what I remember. What does he mean, we're always great? I meant on giving um, suggestions for games that I probably definitely want to play. That's what I meant. that there's probably, was, what is it, like four fucking levels left? I'm not gonna fucking do it. And that's gonna get harder. I'm fucked. I need to know about these clouds, though. And I don't want to, like, test it. I should have tested it earlier. So, like, now I'm nervous to mess with it. But apparently, at some point, you can go into the clouds. So there's a part where the clouds are, like, either white or, like, gray, like that. But then they turn red. Fuck. Well, now I can try it, I guess. Okay, it was white, and I was able to do it. So, that's what it is. Oh, and I have the fucking... I have the captain thing now. So, okay, so I don't know about when they're red or if it makes a difference, but when the clouds are gray, I was able to get inside the cloud, which I guess acts as like a limited like invincibility kind of thing, right? Or an extra hit or something. to like apply that more. Oh, did you see that? Fucking clip that. That was a nice little move. is that fuck what the hell was that thing going back and forth Absorbs one hit? No idea. A glitch. A glitch?
Oh, dude, look at my fucking symbol now. That's the top symbol. Oh, definitely, because the, even the bars went away. Oh, maybe that thing that came on screen was, like, symbolizing that, like, I'm at my max now or something. I thought I was at my maximum before, but now I guess I am. Maybe now I'm the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what level that's supposed to be. Somebody was saying it goes up to, like, architect or something. <laughs> Is that what that means? I think they were kidding. Maybe not, though. Sometimes I think people in my chat are kidding, and I find out later they're, like, serious. All right, wave seven. God. Be nice to get some extra lives, if you can. Wow. getting extra lives at certain points, I don't know. Does anybody know about extra lives in this game? Whoa. Classic example. Oh, that was Pearl Necklace from Skloon. You thought they were joking, but it was 100% real. Yeah, because I thought, you know, because, like, Pearl Necklace, it would be like, a girl's laying there with her tits out, and then there's one dude here, and there's one dude here, or behind, right? And the one dude comes, like, on her tits this way, and the other dude comes on her tits this way, and so it looks like a fucking pearl necklace, right? So you got these two, like, fucking jizz rope blasts, right? So you have, like, the fucking pearl necklace. So I'm like, oh, well, my chat talks about the, the dirty stuff. So I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, pearl necklace, pearl necklace. And then come to find out, oh, no, like, Scoon, there really is, like, a pearl necklace in Scoon, like, jewelry, that I guess you collect, right, in Scoon. And I'm like, oh, yeah, guys, okay, a pearl necklace. You know? But no, they were that, like, serious. Apparently the big, fast missiles the boss shoots are... A special feature of the game called the Sil oh that is the silkworm. The missile, the crazy fast missiles are the silkworm missiles. Is that what the fucking game is named after? That right there, that's the silkworm. <laughs> what do I hit? Oh, there, it's like empty. Jeez. Silver Smoke, thank you very much for the sub. I got some moves on me. Yeah, that was pretty... I didn't die there, huh? At least the game is not called Tapeworm. There's an Atari 2600 game called Tapeworm. Had it as a kid. It's like the... Things like moving around. 
See, now this background is like kind of distracting. Look at this craziness. Wonder, if, is this the last level? Whoa. Looks like it would be, right? Oh boy. Fuck! Oh, God. Alright, starting over. I think that was my first continue I used, though. I believe. Mm. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! This is too much. Jesus. What? God damn it. This level's hard as shit. Oh my god! This is my last continue now? Fuck me. Alright, this just got like ten times harder. It was already fucking hard. Jesus. Oh, I thought I could go above that. Come on. Your life or something, please. These are fucking invisible now. Invisible enemies. <laughs> Holy shit. speed missiles that shoot bullets. Oh my god. So, uh, was that the last level or was there one more? Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a break and I'll, I'll try it one more time. Holy crap. This is hard, so hard. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. So anyway, so but this is uh, Motor Psycho. So in this game, 
the idea here is that you drive down the road and you pass by other people on bikes and then you try to get extra time and then you keep doing it and your score keeps going up and then you keep doing it and then you pass by another guy and then you drive down the road and then and then you'll come to a, par a part where the road turns and then you have to try to turn with it so that's that's motorcycle isn't it isn't it psychotic i forget what i what i what i have and what i don't have but um so anyway, regardless though, I'm not like doing 2600 stuff. That, is that like, so I want to ask you guys in the chat, what do you think that that entryway like looks like right there? I want to get uh, my chat's opinion on what that entryway reminds you of. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right, I need to pay, pay attention to riding, riding on logs here. How many of you uh, wrote on a log today in my chat? Anybody? We got a... Uh, how many people are watching the stupid stream right now? F five o'clock in the morning. 520 people watching at five o'clock in the morning. I would like to know how many of you... Uh, well, okay, if you didn't ride on a log, how many of you... How many of you shot a log out of your ass today? See, I just went from, you know, not probably not many people rode on a log, but I bet you many of you shot a log out of your ass. See, now, now I have a higher percentage of people that can answer that question with a yes. See, I'm doing better now. You were at a concert. What does that have to do with shooting a log out of your ass? Wait, I didn't ask you. If, the question was not, has anybody gone to a music venue tonight? That was not the question. Did you miss, uh, are you watching sorry, somebody else? You're not listening. I don't blame you though for not listening. I mean, what are we talking about? Really shooting logs out of our asses? I don't blame you at all. Actually. Took two wonderful shits, thanks. There you go. Your penis problem, have you solved it? What is, I don't know, what, I solved it? What is your penis problem? What is the problem with your penis? Yeah, is that something, I'm, I'm supposed to be figuring this out? Okay, let me know, what is the problem, tell me. I didn't know I was, I didn't know that was my, task that I had to do that and I don't know what the problem is. You tell me what it is. If I was the king, that would be my first order of business. All delis will now sell CRT televisions. They're, they're like, oh, this is our king now? What? Is, that's the first thing he decided to do. Of all the problems we have in the world, the first fucking thing this guy is saying is the delis. Where we get ham should sell CRT. Yes, that would be the first order of business. But I mean, that'd be pretty good. You can get you could get the CRT for your Atari, and you can get some fucking sausage. I mean, why? What's wrong with that? One more life. Fuck! Uh, what's this down here? And uh, a mushroom or something? Do, 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 do. Shoot that. You know what? Like honestly, like I, I like this one. New. Oh, we made a new friend. <laughs> All right, blue path. Does that mean the, that's the hard path or what? Yo, this is all right. I'm down with this. Uh, this is fine. Oh, the ice cave. Okay, so some of these things take like multiple hits here. 
Oh, is that, oh, is that like a Yeti? Yo, this game is awesome. Yo, this is all I want to play now. See, this I, that's what's gonna happen, I, I knew it. Is I'm gonna like play a game that I get like obsessed with. Isn't that the goal though of this, is to find a game that I really like? I think, it, so it might be this game. I fucking like this shit. Oh, you can't shoot the air? Oh! <laughs> you fucking burned to death? Oh shit. Nice. Good. This is alright. Best game ever about inflation? You're asking me? Uh, a Wall Street Kid? Maybe? Like... What? Hey Mike, what's the best game about inflation? Oh, you mean... Oh. Boom! Fuck you. This is fun. I, I, I can't, honestly, I, I like this. This is pretty good. Like, I like this shit. Uh oh, I'm, I'm dead though. Wow. Wow. Fuck you! Now this is just gonna be- Oh, Circus Charlie, somebody in the chat just said. Yeah, Circus Charlie. I like that game too. Return, and he has returned to Silkworm for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Look at this. Look at this cover. Let's look at this. Nintendo Seal Quality. It deserves the Nintendo Seal Quality. Look at that. Boom. So that's the other player you can be. Maybe I'll try that out another time. And then there's our helicopter, Sammy. See, Sam. What else does Sammy do on any us? Somebody look up Sammy games and tell me what are all the Sammy-made NES games. I know I played other stuff by them before. I just don't know off the top of my head. Quality box art. That break has had the clip where you're the king and you decree that all delis have to sell CRTs. <laughs> I was busy making my coffee. I didn't see that, but yeah. Um, when I am declared king, uh, that will be... I'm trying to think if I still feel that way. I think that's pretty good. I think if I was the king, probably one of the most important things I could think of that could happen would be that delis, the same place that serves cheese and sells cheese and meat and things like that, would also sell t CRT televisions. Because listen, somewhere needs to sell them, so why not delis? Because then you could go in and you could get the cheese and the meat, and you can also get a CRT. Doesn't that sound great? I think it sounds great. That will be my first act as king. Oh, Sammy did Amagon. Ah. 
Vice Project Doom. I like that. Oh, Ultimate Basketball. Oh yeah, my favorite. Sammy did Wise the Third, otherwise known as Ease. Ease it into my ass. The shampoo bottle, I mean. All right, so I've been playing Silkworm today, and we've done a couple runs of it. The beginning of the stream, I was like learning how to even play it and what the game is and everything. This is about God over man as their God. In order to rule over man as their God. What a story. Um, so you can play either play as a helicopter or a Jeep. I'm playing as a helicopter right now, and um, I made it near the end. I think it was like the second to last stage or something like that. So we're gonna try it again. It gets really, really, really difficult um, later in the game. So we'll try it again. If I can make it to the like the last area with, well, not really, because I had didn't I have three? I had three lives like at the end and full power. It's just I'm gonna have to just do it. It's not like you can collect. Well, can you collect extra lives? I don't see. That's the thing. If I could, get, if I could have like four or five lives when, once I got to that final stage, then like maybe I could actually do it, I don't know. Which would mean I would have to do it on my first run of it, if, if there is extra lives. I didn't find out how to get an extra life. Yeah, that's the thing, I don't know. There might not be. Alright, here we go. So this is Silkworm. Let's give it another go. 1990. I want to go back to 1990. You know why? Because they had Silkworm. The, the new game at the time was Silkworm, imagine. So much better than Pud World. So if I do that, like I can't get hit for a little bit, right? So that'll help. Only lasts for a little bit, but yeah, it just lasts for like five seconds. Oh, and it can, it can be red. Okay. Gives you a couple seconds to just not get hit, which is nice. All right, so now I know. Well, so it can be gray or red, it doesn't matter. So it's wave one, apparently there's nine waves. I was at the end, very end of wave eight. It's the furthest I've made it so far. not be able to beat this game today, but I, uh, I'm just glad that I'm able to experience this game a little bit more. Now I feel like I've at least played this game, like, for real, even if I don't beat it. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. They also had porno magazines in random sheds you could find. In what? In your life? Like in your life, you went into sheds and found porno magazines? Okay, cool. Are you are you telling me is the point of that you, that you're admitting you wanted to admit to a group of people that you broke into somebody's shed? So, you're, so a guy in my chat breaks into people's sheds 
And he, oh, but he wanted to let me know that when he did break into somebody's shed, he found a bunch of porno magazines. Cool, man. How did that go? Did you jack off to them? Did you jack off in the shed and leave your uh, spunk on the ground in the shed so the, the next day when the guy went out to like mow his lawn and get his lawn mower out of his shed, he like fucking slipped on your spunk? Hang on a second. I'm going to reset this because I want to die less. My chat isn't being funny. Please tell them to do better. Um, why do you think that what the guy was saying to me was meant to be humorous? Maybe he really broke into the shed and he just wanted to tell me that. And it wasn't necessarily um, a funny thing. I mean, do you think that breaking into somebody's shed is funny? I don't think that's very funny. And maybe the guy just likes a good porn magazine. I don't really think that's funny. He's just telling me something he likes. Like how people tell me, they're like, hey, Mike, I like, uh, I like Silkworm on NES. I'm like, I like Silkworm too, you know? And also, why... You say, uh, you say that the chat should do better because they weren't being, like, funny enough. Do you think that this is a place for you to go to, like be entertained by a comedy this isn't a fucking comedy show this isn't like when you pay for tickets and get to go see like Jerry Seinfeld or something this isn't a comedy show maybe sometimes you'll be watching the stream and you'll find something that you find humorous and that's all well and good but it's not meant... To, this isn't meant to be a fucking comedy show. So, if you think... If you don't think my chat is funny, or if you do think they're funny, or whatever the fuck you think, nobody cares. Nobody fucking cares. You guys ever see that Bugs Bunny cartoon where Bugs Bunny is in an airplane with a gremlin? This is a random thought I just had. I haven't seen that in a long time. Bugs Bunny met a car. What kind of a sentence is that? And that's a question? That's the question I just got. Bugs, Bu Bugs Bunny met a car? How do you meet a car? You can meet a person. I can meet one of you guys behind the 7-Eleven so you can suck my cock. But I don't necessarily know how Bugs Bunny meets a car, nor why I am asked that question. Turn on the upvotes and downvotes in the chat, please. <laughs> That's something, that, wouldn't that be great if they added that? And what if, if you downvoted somebody enough, it, it disappears from the chat? They should add that. Fuck. No. I guess I don't need to be resetting, but it's pissing me off, so I am.
what would happen is people would upvote the most lame, unfunny garbage, and then you truly lose faith in humanity. As if I haven't already. I probably, I probably would have to stop streaming. Somebody would, somebody would say uh, 69, and then it would get like a bunch of upvotes, and then everybody would just start saying 69 and upvoting it, and then I would look over in my chat, and it would just be a bunch of 69s with a bunch of upvotes, and then I would, then I would hit the X on the chat window, and then I'd turn off the stream, and then I would just never fucking stream again. So I think the worst thing that there could ever be as far as streaming would be a fucking upvote and downvote. Shishi, that's a terrible fucking idea. For a second, I thought it was like, like a really good idea, and then I realized, oh wait, that's a fucking awful idea. <laughs> that's a fucking dog shit idea. The hell. You tried though. I'll get. I'll get. At least he's trying. <laughs> Had me fooled for a second too, so. It works, it would work if it was, if the people upvoting and downvoting did it well, but I, but they, they wouldn't. So here's what somebody would suggest like a really awesome game for me to like play in the chat and then it would get downvoted and it would disappear and then somebody would say like the P is stored in the balls and that would get all the upvotes and then the top thing would be P is stored in the balls and then I like look over and it would just be nothing but P is stored in the balls. What does that fucking say? TV? It looks like it says TV RBO or something. Can you fucking read that? T oh, tur turbo. T oh, that's a U. It's not a V. That says fucking turbo. Yeah, it's turbo. I was like trying to read it. C couldn't they have made it like a little bit fucking bigger? All right, it's just fucking turbo. That was like hard to read. Now I see it. I had to like pause it and really look at it. I thought it was a, I thought it said TV, but the U, the U looked like a V to me. All right, here we go. It's hard to read on a CRT. Oh, I wonder what that looked like in the capture. I bet it looked completely different. Looks like alternating colors. We have blue, red. Well, the next stage is yellow. So this is red, red, yellow, and blue. There you go. Looks like RGB. Or it's like the shirt colors on Star Trek: The Original Series, which they made because color was new on television. So they wanted to use the primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. You think there's like a science fiction reason? Like Gene Roddenberry or something. It's like, oh, they should be blue because medical. And it should be. No, it's, it's not at all. It's just. It's because the show is in color. Color had already existed 
for like 20 years and then the original series came on I bet you the colors that they would have chosen for their outfits probably would have been completely different let's say that color came out in, on television in the 1920s instead and then it wasn't new anymore then they wouldn't be thinking about like uh oh it's gotta be what will display on people's monitors the best or whatever. Captain Kirk would have been wearing pink. Mr. Spock would have been wearing purple. And Scotty would have been wearing brown. And I would have a black t-shirt on, Captain. That way when I spunk on my chest, you can see it all. What do you think of that, Captain Kirk? Captain, you look dashing in pink. There's also a Final Fantasy VII remake on NES, and you have both Pokemon Yellow, NES, and Final Fantasy VII on cartridges. What kind of an upvote or downvote would that get? Now you have me thinking about this upvote and downvote system. Remember when YouTube used to be, uh, used to have a star system? It didn't have a lot, it was, uh, it was it now likes and dislikes? It used to be, it used to be a star. I'm gonna go back to that. I rate this video four stars. Check it out. Not doing that great. I rate this stream one star. Fuck. I'm doing like really bad. I'm gonna have to fucking start. I was doing really terrible. Uh, Retro Maniac James, thanks for the sub. now it requires a browser add-on good I, they should remove upvotes downvotes comments remove all of it just take it all off make it a place where you watch videos and shut the fuck up just like fucking TV we, we've talked about this before What if you what if you're watching you're trying you're trying you're sitting there and you're trying to watch Married with Children, right? And Al Bundy's talking to fucking Peg. And you're and you know, he's, he's saying funny shit and you're like, oh I like Married with Children. But then then Al has to stop everything he's doing. And then he has to hang on a second. Uh, I got a I got a comment here. The, the, the comment says, oh, uh, somebody in Ohio says that he doesn't like the color of my socks that I have on today in this episode. Okay. All right, well, the guy in Ohio didn't like the color of my socks. Anyway, back to the episode and the plot that has nothing to do with what that guy just said. But we had to, we had to fucking see that. That had to, like, be something that everybody fucking sees. I like 
like the fucking 80s and 90s and the way that all worked better. Can't you just fucking make a video and then you just fucking watch it? You know what that is? You know what that's called? That's called all the people that don't comment on YouTube, which is most people. We went over this the other day. I did a stream of Goonies on Famicom and it had like 11,000 views and it had 60 comments or something like that or 70 comments, but it had 11,000 views. So that means most of the people don't comment. So all those people that aren't commenting are people that want to live in in like the 90s and the 80s the way it was because they didn't fucking comment just the way you don't comment on television and most of the people don't comment which means most people don't want to see that shit so maybe it should fucking go away but then YouTube's like oh but the algorithm Or whatever the fuck. Watch time. You know it's nice, you know, they used to film television shows with like live studio audiences and then you know, you just fucking you just fucking watch the fucking show. So much better. Watch the fucking show. Research has shown that the vast majority of the internet users do not participate on the internet. They read only. Good. I'm going to comment every time now just to piss Mike off. Well, it's already there and other people are commenting anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just saying turn the whole fucking thing off. Because we're talking about star, like a star system or stars or likes or whatever. Get rid of the likes. Get rid of, get rid of the views too. Who fucking cares? Why do I gotta see how many views somebody has on a fucking video? Games and movies. Thank you very much for the sub. Or gifting subs out to Zedek, Master Rat, and all the rest. Sorry, I'm trying to do this right now. Thank you, Games and Movies, and Gog LP and Leisure Gamer and Mystic Phoenix got subs. Thank you very much. Basically all social media posts, all comments, blog posts, all of all of it is about 15 to 20% of internet users, which is also not the entire world population either. It's bragging rights. Yeah, I hate I fucking hate that shit. It's like all big fucking popularity contests, it's, you know. It's like, "Oh, how many subscribers do you have or how many fucking views do you have?" fucking care yeah but did you enjoy the video there's plenty of videos out there that have like a billion views or whatever that fucking suck you ever see one of those videos there's a fucking there's like a video of like a dancing like hippo or some shit and it's like this stupid fucking video and it has like a trillion like views on it you ever see that it's just like you know oh but me kid likes it Or you, you know what the actually you know what the worst offender of that is? There's people that do animation on YouTube, and some some people do really breathtakingly beautiful animation, and the and the video will have like very little views. But some shit video that somebody made in like two seconds, you know, will have like a, a hundred million views on it, and it's just like, why do we need to see that? Why do we need to fucking know that? That's like depressing to think about. Somebody just fucking like did an animation and worked like for fucking years on it. But somebody's like dog took a shit on the ground and it has a billion zillion fucking views. And it's like, ugh. So maybe if we didn't know that, if we didn't see the number, then it wouldn't, you know, then it wouldn't matter. So take the fucking number off of it. Take the fucking number off, take the fucking comments off, take the like system off, take the stars off, take it all off. You make it, the, the fucking video comes up, that's it. You can, have, you can have search, search for the fucking video. You wanna watch a video on Silkworm? All right, well you type in Silkworm and all the Silkworm videos come up. 
and then that's it. You fucking watch it, or you don't fucking watch it. And whatever you thought, you, whatever thought you have about it, it's in your fucking head, and that's where it can fucking stay. You can stay up your fucking ass. That's where it can stay. <laughs> Whether you and maybe they liked it, maybe they're like, "Ooh, I like this silkworm. Uh, th this is great. I really like that playthrough you did." Fine, have that thought in your head. Advertisers love numbers, Mike. Yeah. You downvote everything you watch. Good. Actually, you know what? Downvotes count the same way as upvotes do, because <clears throat> they're all, um, it's, either way, it's interaction. So, also another thing is, y you can't even see the downvotes anymore. So, let's say it'd be like, a video could have like a billion downvotes, but you don't see it, unless you do, you know, you could like install some like, whatever, app or whatever. That's what that's what it is for like Disney movies now, because all the fucking Disney movies like suck cock now. So Disney will put like out a trailer for a new movie and it'll be like something nobody wants to fucking see, and it'll have like it'll be like three thousand likes, and then if you like install the fucking program or whatever into your browser, it's like oh a billion dislikes. Oh I see. <laughs> you know that's what it's like. Because they can't fucking make content anymore because they're devoid of uh, uh, talent. Because their executives, like, don't know what the fuck they're doing. Because they actually did need Walt Disney. But not just Walt, but, you know, all, all the people that used to be involved in the company that made the quality content that people fell in love with. They're all gone or dead. stuck with fucking complete trash forever. I don't think it'll ever get any better either. They just want to keep remaking the same fucking movies. They're like, oh, let's remake Aladdin again. Let's remake The Lion King again. Or whatever the fuck. It, we're, it, like, it's like that just fucking generation. Instead of making new movies. Because guess what? When like Aladdin originally came out in what, like 1992 or whatever? All those songs and all that, that was new, right? So, like they were on track. To, they were like doing fine. So what you do is just fucking take more fairy tales and make new movies with like new songs. Don't remake the fucking same. You already fucking made those movies. Why are you fucking making them again? And then not only are they making them again, but they're making them again and they're making them worse. Like with shittier. It's just it's just a shit version of their like classic movies. So it it it, it also fucking taints you know, the old fucking movies a little bit. Not that you can't go back and watch the old, like, movies. You can't, you always can, but, like, now, now you're, you know, you're gonna be, like, watching, like, Aladdin or whatever and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, there's that, like, new Aladdin. That, like, new shitty fucking one. You know, you gotta, like, think about that now. It's like, now whenever I think, you know, I watch, like, Star Trek The Next Generation, I'm always like, oh, yeah, and then there's, like, Picard, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I actually don't like Star Trek The Next Generation. That's how it makes me feel now. Yeah. That's fucking garbage. Just take take your fucking childhood and ruin it. And they do it on fucking purpose, too. They do it on fucking purpose because they fucking hate you. Because they already made their money. They, they all own fucking private islands and shit. Like, these executives and these fucking corporations and shit. They're good. They're good to go. The only thing they had left... 
they were like, let's ruin all the stuff that these people like and make a bunch of fucking shit. Let's ruin Star Trek. Let's ruin Star Wars. Let's ruin all of it because that's what gets them off. They're stroking their, like, beady little tiny dicks and they're like, oh, yeah, that's what fucking gets me off. Yeah, I made some shitty fucking Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was, like, the only way they could fucking come anymore was to ruin your fucking day. That's why all these fucking movies suck dick now. That's what I think. It's the only joy they... That's the only fucking joy they have fucking left is to ruin your fucking day. That's it. That's all they have. Because they made so much fucking money. They, they fucked every person they wanted to fuck. They, they, you know, have every fucking thing they could possibly want. They have every car they could want. They have every pool they could want. They have every mansion they could want. They have everything. The only thing left to do is to fucking fuck with you. That's it. So here you go, motherfucker. Here's, here's Lion King 812. Here's Pumbaa the movie, or whatever the fuck shit they, they're gonna fucking do. Or fucking trash they fucking come up with. And it's brilliant, too. And, I, and if I was them, I would do the exact same fucking thing. I'd do the exact same fucking thing. If I was that fucking guy, good. Ruin it all. Watch it fucking burn. It's like the Joker, basically, right? It's like what they fucking said, you know? The Joker's like, so, some men just like to watch the wheel burn. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. They just want to watch the fucking world burn. Fucking Joker's in fucking charge, you guys. The mistake he's making, though, is that he's not putting CRTs into delis. <laughs> Lion King 3, Simba's Revenge. Yeah! <laughs> or whatever! You could just make up titles. Lion King 4. Uh, like what? You know, just Lion King 5. <laughs> Lion King 812. Pumbaa's Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep making them. Maybe they don't make bad movies on purpose. It's just pure arrogance to wake up one day and say, I can take what Spielberg did and do it way better. Um, it's probably just mis like mismanagement and they just, the truth is probably they just don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're just doing a bad job. But it's probably like a mixture of all of these things. That's perfect because Simba already got his revenge in the first movie. That's what it's about. Oh, right. Because like at the end, like he defeats Scar, right? So that that was his revenge. Yeah. So well, that they would do that though. They would make like Lion King three Simba's revenge because. They didn't, they didn't bother to watch the movie or have the thought that you just had. They just don't care because they make shit. So they're like, yeah, oh yeah, um, Lion King 3, Simba's Revenge. And then somebody comes along, well, didn't he have his revenge in the first movie? And they're, and they're like, what's that? What are, you, what are you saying? They act like they don't even hear you. And they just fucking put it out anyway. And then there's like some shit music in it. You know, you have your like classic music in the original mu movie, and then and then this just says fucking garbage. It's so bad. I've seen. I saw a couple of those. Movies. I saw the Aladdin one. I saw the. What else did I say? I saw a couple of them. They were so fucking bad. So fucking bad.
And if there aren't extra lives, it really doesn't fucking matter. Like how I do, basically. I just gotta fucking make it to the end, and then and then see if I can have a good run on that final stage. Unless I'm wrong and there are extra lives. If there are extra lives, then like I should be trying to do that, but I don't think there are. Shit, I didn't realize I had the holding down thing. God damn it. Thank God. Alright. That's what I'm saying they would do that. You get what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Lion King, search for more money. Lion King 6, Mufasa's best act to me. <laughs> they, dude, they're making a fucking Mufasa movie. I swear, is, is that out? <laughs> and then what's gonna come after that? Uh, what about that Mr. Mr. Bean? Is that uh, Zazu or whatever? Lion King 4, Zazu. Then they gotta make Zazu. And then they gotta make, uh... oh God. And it won't even be Rowan Atkinson. It'll be like somebody else. It'll be like, uh, who fucking knows? Chris Pratt as Zazu, or whatever the fuck. It'll it'd be some Guardians of the Galaxy motherfucker, because everything has to be some Guardians of the Galaxy shit with the stupid fucking squirrel or whatever. Did you see there's a new Godzilla movie in Japan? Um, I don't know, maybe some, I still didn't see the other one. What is it, Godzilla Minus Zero or whatever? I'd watch it at some point. I'm not like... I do, okay, I do like Godzilla, um, but like, I'm not in any like rush to see any of these movies. At some point, I probably will watch the Godzilla's Minus One or whatever. Um, and I do like Godzilla, but it's like I don't feel that you know, like I have to fucking rush out and see any of this. It's like I'll probably watch it someday at some point. I don't know. It might be like ten years from now. Like maybe I'll fucking watch it, or it could be tomorrow. I don't fucking know. But I don't like always like rush out to fucking see shit like immediately. I'm, I'm like an extremely casual Godzilla fan. I don't even know if I can say I, I like Godzilla. I've seen I've seen the movies because I had to edit the Monster Madness stuff on it like years ago, and I definitely enjoy some of the Godzilla stuff. But I don't, I just don't really care because I'd seen I'd seen like 28 of those movies and it's like what else is what else more isn't that enough what else more is going to happen I mean in the 28 Godzilla movies or 30 or Godzilla movies that I watched it's like okay so he's blows uh, atomic fire and fights like other monsters and whatever it's like I'm not really getting anything out of it Like some like I, some of the special effects are cool and stuff in some of them, but it's kind of just like it's like playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the arcade game to me. It's very 
like brain dead. Like, all right, he's fighting the other monster. And some days I want that. Some days I'm like, yeah, uh, that's fucking cool. Like, I like, you know, I want to see fucking Godzilla fight a monster if I'm in the, like, the mood for that. But most of the time, I don't really want to watch those movies. Like, I need, like, more than that. Um, and there are some that are, like, really good, like, Godzilla movies that I really enjoy. But, like, I don't know. I gotta be, like, in the mood for it. And I'm, I don't know. Most of the Godzilla movies are about the human characters on the ground. Well, yeah. Um, and it's just, I don't fucking care. Um, about any of that. It's just like, I just want to see the fucking... There, there's a couple... There was one... I can't remember what it was. There was one I watched where I was like into the human plot of it, but a lot of those Godzilla movies are just like... The plots are just like... I just fucking tune out, and I just want to see Godzilla. I'm just like... I'm just waiting the whole time for the Godzilla monster fight. Um, there, was a, there was a few, though, that were like... I, I, I enjoyed the, the actual plot of it. Um... But it's, like, not compared to, like, watching, like, Back to the Future or something. You know what I mean? Like, it was, like, all right. I, I was, like, I can kind of get into this, like, this plot of this Godzilla movie. And then finally the Godzilla stuff happens. And it's, like, okay, that's cool. But it's, like, I'd rather watch other shit, though. So, I don't know. It just doesn't really do it for me that much. So I'm like, so what would you so I'll call it? Like a very casual fan. Like I, I like it kind of some sometimes. I like more like how how ridiculous some of them are. See, I like the 1970s stuff that are like really fucking ridiculous. I don't see. I guess that's part of the problem why I'm not. I'm also not like rushing out to go see like any new Godzilla movie. I don't want it to have good special effects because that's the same thing as like, oh, Batman's got to be like uh, badass. Oh, it's the dark, gritty Batman. It's like the new Godzilla stuff is just like. It, it, I want Godzilla to have like ping pong ball eyes like he did in the 1970s. That was like the fucking appeal of it to me because it was like this fucking cheesy shit that you can't, you don't have to take seriously, you know, and it's guys in fucking rubber suits. That was the whole fucking appeal of it. And now it's like all this fucking CGI. It's like, well, you just took away the fucking appeal of it to, for me, you know? I want to see the fucking guys in the fucking rubber suits. I don't want it to look good. I want fucking guys in rubber suits. You know, you ever watch Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and there's the part where, you know, Pee Wee goes through the fucking studio, and it's like the dudes in the rubber suits. It's like, that's fucking cool as shit, you know? And they had to feel like, they had to fil film these, like, complicated scenes with guys in fucking, ru like, rubber suits and shit. And it's like, I don't know, I just fucking like, I like that. I don't, you know? And I like, I like some of those movies. You see some of these Godzilla movies, it's like Godzilla vs. Megalon, and you look at Godzilla and his eye, his eyes are kind of like going like this. And they're not like looking perfectly straight. They're kind of like, they're kind of like crooked. And it's like, oh, Godzilla's like kind of like cross-eyed, and it's like kind of like it's fucking funny. And then he's like beating the shit out of another guy. You know, it's just like it. That shit was like funny. And so if I'm going to watch any Godzilla movie, I want it to be, like, the stupid, like, fucking 70s, like, 1970s shit. Like, I, I, I like Jet Jaguar and, like, that kind of stuff. But I don't want to see Jet Jaguar, like, I don't want to see, like, a CG Jet Jaguar. Like, they're never going to make it the way it was, like, in the fucking 1970s. It's like, it's over. So yeah, so the new fucking like new Godzilla movie, like whatever, it's just like, damn, I used up all my, I'm like sucking now. What did I make it like fucking four stages in? I used up all my continues. Uh, Adam Draven, thanks for the tier one sub. Yeah, Godzilla vs. Megalon is great. It has the Cookie Monster, Godzilla, and Jet Jaguar. Yeah, exactly. I like that because it's like fucking stupid.
that's how you feel about AVGN. You want it to look like low budget effects. <laughs> it is low budget effects. There is no fucking budget. <laughs> what budget? They buy the, buy the cartridge and then it's like me in a suit or something. It's like some fucking shit shit costume that I bought off of like Amazon. There's no there's no budget. <laughs> so don't worry about it. It is that way. Like what's the what's the most to make a image in Photoshop or something? <laughs> like. Son of Godzilla is best Godzilla. Yeah, like that. Like Son of Godzilla, Godzilla's Revenge, Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. Um, like all that shit. Those are the ones I like. Like that whole era. All that bullshit. You know, and then you watch it and you're like, oh man, this movie sucks. It's so great. You know? Like, that's how it is. It's like, oh man, this is so bad. I love it. You know, that's what I liked about Godzilla. You know, you make this like, you know, and you look at these movies now and it's like, there's like these like aw fucking like awesome special effects and it's like, all right, well, it looks like awesome now, but I'm not like enjoying it anymore because it's not like, I don't know, it doesn't have the charm that it had back then. It's like a totally different, it's a totally different thing. So yeah, actually I'm glad you brought that subject up because now I think, I don't think I realized before we talked about this what, ex how I exactly felt about all that, but that's how I feel. I like the 1970s show. I do like the original movie, like the first Godzilla movie. Uh, yeah, like the very first one, and then, uh, or what? What about this? Like the third one, where he's like Godzilla versus uh, King Kong, and like King Kong is uh, hanging on balloons or whatever. That's just God damn it! I should fucking fix that. Godzilla's like hanging on uh, fucking balloons, and it looks like stupid as shit. Like I love that. Or yeah, and and uh, Son of Godzilla. So, so Son of Godzilla, meet Manila or whatever his name is, he like talks and he's like, Godzilla says I should learn to fight my own battles, don't you know? And stuff like, like the fucking thing is like talking and he talks like a fucking Hanna-Barbera character. Like that is awesome. I love that shit. So like, yeah, I do like Godzilla, but that's the shit I like. talk about Godzilla anymore. <laughs> That's it. That's everything I have to say about Godzilla. It's been a year of my life editing those fucking videos. I have more than enough fucking thinking and talking about fucking Godzilla. That's And that's another thing I think I don't need more of. It's like they keep making more of these movies and it's just like... When are you gonna make one that's like one from the 1970s? In fact, but then it would be like it would be like they were trying to emulate that, and I don't want like an emulation of the 1970s. I just want it to be like the real shit. And I've and also I've already fucking seen them. I've edited like videos on them, so I don't. I'm good. I don't need to fucking see. It. I don't know about you guys, but if you ever fucking like edited something, it's like you look at that footage like so much. I saw that all that shit. I looked at that for a fucking year. Like, I saw all that Godzilla shit plenty. 
and I don't fucking need to see it anymore. I enjoyed it. It was funny. I'm good. Like, I'm done now. So that's how I feel about it, right? And I re and then okay, so and then there's the, one more thing, and then there's the uh, there's like the modern because the original question was about how there's a new Japanese Godzilla, but like there was also. They were making Godzilla movies in Japan, like what, in like the late 2000s or like early 2000s, like, and one of the later ones, it's like uh, Godzilla Final Wars and SOS and stuff, and it's like those are kind of like entertaining or whatever. But I, I don't like those as much. I don't like those like later 90s and like early 2000s Godzilla movies as much, nearly as much as the like old like 70s, 60s, 70s stuff because. That shit was like, cor like more like corny, and like I just fucking explained the whole thing, like of why, like I liked it. So it's like those like n like '90s ones don't really have that same thing going on. It's like they kind of start to like look like legitimately like good, and I don't really want it to look legitimately good. And now it looks like really really good, and I don't want it to be that way. That's not what appeals to me. Yeah, and for somebody else, they maybe that's what some people like. Some people, some people want like a dark, gritty Batman. I don't. I can't take superheroes seriously. So like, I don't fucking care about like a dark, gritty Batman. Like, I want it to be comic booky. Like, I like like the Dick Tracy movie because it's it's very like comic booky. You know, I like that kind of shit. Or like the, I like the Michael Keaton Batman because it's comic booky. Where these movies have gotten so far away from that, you know, it's like, like I said, I was saying the other day, it's like the new Batman movie. It's like watching like CSI or something now. It's like, is this fucking a comic book thing anymore? Or is this like a fucking like NBC like fucking crime drama now? Like all the fucking appeal and charm is like fucking gone. So, like, I don't fucking care about these, like, modern Batman movies. They're, they take themselves way too fucking seriously. Take, they, it drags all the fucking fun out of it. So I don't give a fuck. If I ever want to fucking watch Godzilla, I'll fucking take a... Literally, you know what I would fucking do? Like, dead serious, if I was going to fucking watch Godzilla, I have Godzilla... VHS tapes. I would take the fucking VHS tape and I would put it into a fucking VCR and I would watch it on this fucking CRT that I'm watch that I'm fucking playing Silkworm on right now. That's how I'd fucking watch it. I don't even I don't even want a fucking DVD. No, not even a fucking DVD. Fucking VHS tape. I want the fucking like lines in it and shit. I want it to look like shit. It's the only way I'm gonna fucking enjoy it. And it won't look like shit, actually. It'll look fucking great. Because it'll be on my fucking CRT. The way the way it was watching it when I fucking watched that shit, like in the fucking 90s. yet because I don't have the fucking good weapon I'm gonna fucking start this over again famous quote I want it to look like shit shit equals great it's not it's not actually shit though because it's fucking great it's great because it is shit
the CRT that you can't read the word turbo with. Yeah, but you suck. Did you ever think of it that way? <laughs> this stage is so pretty. This whole game is pretty. Good comeback. Yeah, it was a bit horrible. <laughs> Yeah, but you suck. <laughs> it's like such like an older brother, like, yo, yeah. When you, you suck though. That's so true. That's why it was a good comeback though, because I like that vibe. It's like the older brother, the older like brother on fucking like Home Alone, you know? <laughs> like that kind of shit. Like, stop hitting yourself. You know who that's also like? That's like Luther in that fucking Atari commercial. That's the vibe I'm going for. It's like the shitty older brother, or like the fucking shitty next door neighbor. That's what I want to be. I want to be the shitty. I want to be the shitty next door neighbor on like a sitcom. Why? Why don't those kind of? I want like those cheap ass shitty sitcoms like from the 1970s. I wish that still existed. I want to be like a fucking. I want to be like a shitty annoying like next door neighbor like character. It's like how come shows like the Hogan family don't exist anymore? My like cause my desires and I wanna basically be like Mrs. Poole on the Hogan family. Or like Harriet on uh, Small Wonder. And then I come over and say some like annoying one-liner, and then they always take something out of the refrigerator too. They come, they come in the door, and then they come in, they say some shitty thing, and then they take like a ham sandwich out of the refrigerator and leave. That's what I want to fucking be. <laughs> like, yeah, like Newman. Yeah, like that's pretty good. That's probably that's like a late example of that. Yeah, exactly. Kramer? No, not Kramer. He's too, like, a main character. I don't want to be, like, a main character like that. I want to be, like, somebody you don't see very much. Every once in a while. I'm not even on every episode. Like, every, like, fourth or fifth episode, you see me, like, for, like, a second. For, like, for, like 20 seconds. And then I'm gone. I want to be that character. Head. Like Boner from Family Ties. Dude, Boner's on Growing Pains. You're thinking of fucking Skippy. It was Skippy on Family Ties, motherfucker. You're talking about fucking Boner on fucking Family Ties? It's not even. What the fuck are you talking about? Motherfucking guy doesn't even know that fucking boners on growing pains. Where's the mods? Ban that guy. I'm offended. This guy's trying to get banned. You know that Skippy from Family Ties at one point after Family Ties uh, was over? Maybe it, was, maybe it was when the show was on, but I think it was after the show was over. Uh, you could call him up at one point, and he would wish you a happy birthday. So you'd like to call, call in advance or whatever, and you set, like, set up the appointment or whatever, I guess. And then, you know, you, you pay him the money, however it worked. 
and then he would call up. And I always thought about that, and I, I never did it. I just had heard about it. And I wish that I I could hear that, because what would it have been? So, so okay, it's your birthday, right? And you're eating cake or whatever, and all of a sudden the phone rings. And they're like, oh, you, oh Mike, you better get the phone. I'm like, okay. And then I then I get the phone. You pick you pick up the phone. You're like, hello. And then what happens? And he's like, hey, this is Skippy from Family Ties. Oh hey, happy birthday. Bye. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like what is what is the fucking what kind of conversation? You know, and it would catch you so off guard, dude. If I picked up the phone and Skippy from Family Ties was on the phone, I'd be. It'd be like, wait, what? Is this really Skippy? Wait, oh, you're wishing me happy birthday. Well, oh, bye. See you later. Bye. Oh shit. Um, damn. I remember his name was Skippy, but what was the real actor's name? I don't know. Man, if I would have had a chance, I would have like thought of some questions to ask him or something. But he's gone now. But anyway. Uh, oh, thanks, mom, for giving me that phone call from Skippy from Family Ties. Like that sucked. You should have told me first that he was gonna call. Cause I could have like, man, I haven't watched Family Ties in a long time. I could have like rewatched some episodes. I was gonna talk to this guy. Cause like, I don't remember what to fucking say. I liked that show like 20 years ago. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, we get a fucking random call. Hey, this is Skippy from Family Ties. Remember, remember me? Remember? Uh, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do. I do remember, but it's been a while, I guess. Skippy from Family Ties. I don't know. <laughs> hey, they like this commentary on Silkworm. I'm talking about Skippy. The fuck else should it be? Was Family Ties still on in 1990? This game is from 1990. What year did Family Ties end? Probably earlier than that. 89. It had already ended. So Family Ties ended 89 and then this came out. It took Family Ties going off the air for Silkworm to exist. I think I'm going to turn the stream off and go watch Family Ties. Probably. It's probably the next thing that's gonna happen. You wanna explain the turbo thing? You have the sprite. What the white of the U and the B are so bright that they overpower the T, B, and U to where those letters look like they are behind the U and B. This is due to CRT pixel blending where some colors overpower others. Clever artists could exploit this to create amazing effects. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you can read the turbo if you look at it paused, but in the heat of the game, you would think it says UB. I mean, that's the way it looked to me. Also, like, even when I had it paused, I still thought that that U looked like a fucking V, though. Like, the, the U is very... It's not, like, very rounded. It's more, like, kind of... A V shape. <laughs> it's more like kind of a V. That V looking thing kind of looks like a V to me. I want to talk about Silkworm with uh, Skippy from Family Ties. Next time Skippy from Family Ties calls me. Or like uh, Boner or whoever. Next time Boner calls me. Or any of those kind of people. Fuck. I want to get a phone call from Mrs. Poole from Hogan Family. That's the fucking phone call I want. God damn it, man. I'm, just, I'm like doing worse and worse. I should have gave up a long time ago because... I was doing like well earlier, now I can't fucking get it anywhere.
devs just couldn't focus on Silkworm when there was family ties to watch. <laughs> I can get the dam. This is like the stage I usually get that power up. That I can always have the turbo shit. I can just get that. The problem is, is I've been we've been talking about so much other shit that it's like I've barely been focusing on the game. So I've kind of been just like whatever, not playing very well. Earlier in the stream, I was like talking more about the actual game. And then we started talking about like every other fucking goddamn thing. And then I started playing like shit. Cause I was thinking more about like what were we talking about for like a fucking hour and talking about fucking Godzilla. This is what fucking happens. That's why I have problems, you know, I like trying to like meet somebody at a convention. You see like somebody asks me a question and then my answer is like two hours long. That's why it's difficult, you know, I try to meet somebody at a convention and then they like ask me something and I'm like, well, there's 300 people in line or whatever, or 500 people in line or something. And it's like, fuck, I, I needed to kill that thing. Fuck me. I, can't, I didn't get fucking get that right now. That's not good. Um, dude, I just fucked that up. I like never miss those. I fucking missed one of those. Dude, that's not good at all. I don't think I've done that yet, where I fucking miss one of those. God damn it. That fucking sucked. Let's see if I can get the next one. Because I think the next one might give me the thing I want to that like I super needed that fuck me I think that was the one. Oh, and then this thing is gonna be horrible cuz that oh man good fucking luck beating this now oh, dude I'll get like one fucking shot at oh my god this is like a nightmare Got a couple shots in there. Barely. Oh, I can't even. Ah! <laughs> and then that fucking weird thing comes. get the thing upgrade games and movies thank you very much for gifting a sub to mr zock 13022 analog 1975 j murder dr Habsburg, and victor e rice if you guys got a gift sub from games and movies enter let him know you appreciate it thank you very much for that games and movies once again very much appreciated Maybe stop shooting when you can actually damage it, Mike. Yeah, but you know what? You know how he was shooting out all those missiles? My... The shot that my ship shoots also shoots the missiles. So I'm trying not to die getting shot by the missiles that the giant blue helicopter shoots. You see? So if I stop firing, I probably would die. And I'm trying to not die. Ah! Which is proving to be problem.
Just trying to get in that cloud. God damn it! This fucking thing needs to die. Fucking die! Thank God. There, now I can fucking got the upgrade. I, sh I wish I should have had, like, earlier. Anyway, now I have the fucking upgrade I want. So now I can't lose the turbo, at least. Hope this isn't, like, my last fucking continue or something. As long as I have, like... Pretty nice batch of shots I got in there. That's so fucking weird. Ah! This is my last continue. Now, now this is like fucked. At least I have the fucking firepower thing. I didn't mean to fucking do that. Let's say I even fucking beat this. I feel like this would be a fucking good game to stream again and do a fucking CRT, like... Like, filming my CRT and do, the, do this game that way. This would be a good game for that. Alright. I want to try that fucking Airwolf Famicom shit. I wonder if I like it. Nice! All right, is it the fucking... There's like a stage seven next to it though, right? Now I don't remember what happens. Oh yeah, this is like wave seven shit. I don't really remember this stage. I only did it like once. Whoa. 
sorry, I can't like read any fucking comments right now. It's just too much happening. Wow. Wow. Fucking Balky. Wow. I don't know if this is my last uh, continue or what. People ask me sometimes, oh, Mike, do you like horizontal shmups or vertical shmups better? It's like, I lo this is a horizontal one, and I, I really fucking like this game. So I don't know. It just depends on the game. Like, this is, this is a horizontal one. A lot of times I feel like I like vertical ones more, but I don't know. This, fuck, this one's fucking great. I hope I have one more. I don't think I probably do, but if I had one more, that'd be nice. Let me let me catch it. Yeah, this, this is the stage I haven't been. You're on seven. Eight is the final. No, there's another one after this. There's there's nine. Battletoads NES after this. I've done Battletoads before. I've done a couple streams of it where I beat it. Um, I think I beat it without using any continues, or, or one or whatever. So that's on my YouTube channel. I've done it already. is one of those games where having two players does not increase the amount of enemies. Yeah, scaling. Um, I think we, we were talking about that earlier. I don't think it does scale, so I think if you had two players, um, I think it would be eas like easier. I haven't confirmed that yet, though. I'm not sh sure. We'll see. So I'll try it someday or something. Um, Aaron's actually streamed this game before on her uh, A to Z NES thing. So she she got more into this than I did before me. So she knows about this a little bit. But I, I've also I've also played this fuck a little bit before. But now I know like more about it. Like I did, I didn't know what the fuck was going on before. This is so hard. I, I really need one more fucking continue. Just give me one more. Motherfuck. Please have one more. Motherfuck! See, I needed like one more fucking continue to get like a full so three lives on that fucking shit. I mean, at least I made it to level eight. Um, 
I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna fucking do this again. the jeep has advantages of being directly under enemies can be a safe spot and the jeep can shoot straight up while the copter can't yeah well the um the helicopter can shoot down though like the jeep can shoot up the helicopter can shoot down the jeep can sit under a boss and just lay into them from the other side you know it'd be interesting like how would the jeep even shoot those bosses I'll have to try the Jeep at some point. I, I'm just like trying to do this right now. Because a lot of those bosses are like, you have to get them from the front. So I don't understand how the Jeep would even do it. Unless there's like a diagonal shot. It still looks like a V to me. Even with knowing what it is. Yeah, the rotating turret. Yeah, but yeah, but I know it does. But the the there's the rotating turret. I know it doesn't just shoot up, but it would. Sh you'd be on the ground and you'd be shooting diagonally up at it. I guess you can shoot the front of those bosses like diagonally up at it. But I would just. Part of me feels like you need to be like in front of it. I don't. know, I'd have to try it to see it. like thinking about Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. Uh, was like, <laughs> that's what happens. You see how like distracted I was because of that? This is serious, guys. This is fucking silkworm we're talking about here. I can't have any fucking bullshit going on. Okay. This is fucking silkworm on any ass, guys. Fucking silkworm on any ass. This is to be taken seriously. Just like these streams. There's no humor here. This is about tanks, this is about helicopters, this is about bombs, this is about being at war, this is about marching into hell. This is about, this is about marching into hell, this is what this stream is about. understand that. 
Actually, I think all my streams are about marching into hell, though, come to think of it. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. I didn't even know the fucking cloud thing in the beginning. Like, that makes such a difference. Look at this shit now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby! Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire, and I fucking just hit that thing. It sucks. Balls. Do 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 do. Was doing all right. Now I'm back to the fucking pea shooter shit. fucking thing on the ground, right? I hate this one. <clears throat> ah! Woo! Oh my god! Try it again. I'll be right back. I swear to God. Motherfucker, I jumped, motherfucker! Fire! Donut time, donut time, donut, donut! What is a scumbag? We talked about that earlier. It's a condom, uh, used condom filled with uh, j uh, jizz and cum. And the guy in the chat earlier wanted to know if I knew what that was. I'm like, who doesn't fucking know that? Fuck, hang on, there's a toilet after me. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. You love games with a good story. I do too, and, I, and this has the perfect story. Look, see, he's taking the big donut away because he doesn't want you to have it. I was right. 
You still missed the cutscenes? That was the cutscene. You just saw it. You didn't you see him walk away with the donut? That was the fucking cutscene right there. Boom. Still playing this question mark? You're doing that on purpose. Does it look like I'm still playing it? This is what he wants. This is why they come here. What does it look like I'm doing? Does it look like I'm fucking playing it? Does it look like maybe I'm trying to beat the hard mode? Yeah, I'm still fucking playing this. What are you doing with your life? Jerking off? You jerking off to my stream? Is that what you're fucking doing? Probably? Most likely? That's what most of the fucking people are doing. Fucking masturbating? At least I'm trying to beat this fucking awesome game. More than you're doing. So yeah, I am. I am trying. I am still playing this game. Fuck! Man, hard mode is hard. And see, in Zelda, what do you have to get? You have to get the Triforce. And in this game, you gotta get the cock ring. That's what you gotta do. But hey, we don't talk about video games here. Fuck! Mike is definitely one of the most authentic people to watch. It rather refreshing. It is, it, it is, it is, it's, I can't speak! It's rather refreshing. Um, oh, God, ah! I'm playing a game called Donut Dodo. There's so many Dodo games these days. There's Donut Dodo. There's... Um... All those other do Dodo games. Too many Dodo games. I, I'm gonna get that. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Ooh. A classic method for uh, anus cleanup. That's always good. Fuck. Go up the ladder! What the fuck? Or what the fuck was that? It wasn't going. I was. I, you like you guys ever see all those videos? It's like how to, how to grow your channel. Well, if you do this and that and whatever, because that's the that's like the goal of everybody. You know, everybody wants to grow their channel or whatever. I do the opposite. I'm like, how do I how do I get less people? Like honestly, how many people are watching this shit? Five hundred thirty-seven people watching this shit. There should be like, don't you think there should be like fifteen? Don't, like probably. Don't you think that would be better? I do. 15 is a better number for this. That's about the level of quality these streams are. And that, and even that, I think, is pushing it, honestly. Maybe f six. Six people. That's it. That's about, that's about all I think I deserve, to be completely honest with you. Fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh, you can be on the edge of that? Do you see that? Can you stand on the edge of the dodo the platform? Motherfucker! Hang on. All right, I got the dodo now, or the don't di giant dodo, giant don't donut. Why can't it's because it's donut dodo and it's two D's, dodo and donut. It's hard to say, donut dodo. Do, do is it wait donut dodo or do donut? Do what is the name of this? Donut dodo. What was I saying? Dodo donut. I was saying it backwards. All right, donut dodo. Today's game is donut dodo. Let's start the stream over. If you, if you think I'm kidding about how I think there's, there should only be about five people in here, I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. There doesn't need to be any more that are watching this shit. It's a problem. Fuck! Now, is there a loop three? If there's a loop three, I'm scared for that. Fuck! 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 All right, 
get out of the way. Get on there. Fuck. Oh. oh. All right. I got the donut. Now it's at the ed end of the stage. We're going to go up. We're going to go up. We're going to go over. We're going to do this. And we're going to do that. Ah! Next stage. Mmm. Nice. Come on, Mr. Burger Time. Oh! Alright. Hey, at least we got some shiny donuts. Let's try it again. This is this game's super fun. Super, yeah, you, what, you know what they say? I'll say super addicting, super addictive. That's a thing too. It's like review or review. It's like the guy sitting there with the, like the fucking retainer. <laughs> He's saying review and review. One of those fucking people. Those are those fucking people. Been hearing that for 15 fucking years. How about this? Get a life. Fucking gives a shit. Fucking asshole. Did you ever think of that? Actually, yeah, with. Actually! Actually, you're an idiot. That's that guy. It's, you know, that's also the same guy who doesn't understand playing Castlevania more than once. That's the same guy. They're the same person. He's definitely somebody who should watch my streams, though, because he's definitely somebody who needs to learn to clean his asshole, because you know that guy has a smelly fucking butthole. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck him. Sphincter Belmont. Is that his name? Did we come up with a name? Fucking Sphincter Belmont. Sphincter Belmont doesn't understand playing Castlevania more than once. Why would you even do that? Poor Sphincter Belmont. He doesn't understand. That's okay. He'll be okay. You're trying to steer the direction of the conversation? Is that what you're doing? I see. Well, you know what? We're going to keep it on... Uh, things the chat hates. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Fuck! I'm gonna start this over. sound like shit? What are you talking about? I thought it sounded pretty good. As I was saying, I'm playing uh, Silkworm on NES. And uh, so far I've made it to round eight. I'm trying to beat round eight. There's nine rounds. So let's give this, uh, let's give this one more go here. Yeah. 
you had a vacuum going? No, I didn't. Oh, are you talking about the thing that sucks on my cock? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's a, like, that's a cock-sucking device I have. I have a lot of devices in here. I have, I have, I have a mister, too. All kinds of stuff. Anyway, this is a shooter for the NES that we're playing here. It's called Silkworm, as you can see on the screen. Bam. And I am trying to can beat level eight, beat the game. We'll see. See so yeah, how I do. It's tough. It's a hard game. So there's badges up top, basically, and you're trying to. So you got basically stripes and badges. It's like the it's like the stripes like on the coat, and then you get a badge, I guess. And if you can make it all the way up to whatever admiral or whatever the fuck it is, and then uh, you get to keep your weapons. You get to keep your. Your rapid fire shot. Or you can just tap the button. But that, that's your reward for getting further in the game and doing better. Is that you don't have to tap the button anymore. So you get rewarded. Ah! Hang on a second. Alright, let's try this again. Hi, welcome to the stream. Today we'll be playing Silkworm on the NES. This game was developed by Sammy. It came out in 1990. I'll be a helicopter. lives as I can, you know, near the end of the game, so it's better if I make it further in the beginning without dying. Let's see what I can do. There's three continues. That's all you get. So I'm gonna go take care of this fucking fly because it's driving me fucking crazy. So hang on. Sorry, hang on only one second. Sea of Dreamland? Is that what that says? I can't even read that. Is that a D? We have a horizontal schmuck. So if he hit A, he does that because I kill somebody. Oh yeah, fuck him up. Here, here. Fuck him! Fuck him! That's how you get the guys on the bottom. Here, watch this. Now it's fucking now it's fucking gone. So I don't know, like. I'm trying to fix this shit. I go over there and the fucking thing's gone. Here, let me restart this guy. There's a fucking fly like going around. I go over there and this fucking just dis disappeared. Let's try this again. Welcome to the beginning of the stream. Hi, today we're playing Silkworm for the NES. 
This is me, I'm Mike, in person, here on Twitch, and I'm playing Silkworm by Sammy, developed by Sammy. This is a shooter that came out in 1990. Maybe I can do this now. take this game very seriously. This is very serious. No fucking around. stage without dying. I'd like to make it up to wave four without fucking dying. Like, that'd be fucking awesome. Right. Actually, I think I did do that earlier. I made it, I made it pretty fucking far. On one, of, one of these runs I did was, like, really good. Did you kill the fly? I didn't. I went over there and it was fucking gone. So next time I see it flying around, I'm gonna fucking go over there and get it. <laughs> what the fuck is wave? Just call it levels? Listen, boner girl. Maybe it wants to call it wave. Wave, act, stage, level. Like, you get, you know what it means. What does it matter? Do you not understand the meaning? You still know what it means. So what does it matter? They could call it anything. Round, how about round? Somebody should hack this game and make it so that you can type in whatever word you want for the stage thing. What word would you what word would you guys make it instead of wave? If you could pick any word to make it. Ball sack. Poop. Attempt. Oh, attempt? <laughs> attempt. I like that. Softy? Oh, you call the level soft softy? 
He's like, you're, you're naming it after your, your erection? Horse fuck. A vagina. Attempt is actually for lives. Mm. next level without dying. Come on. You think wave is appropriate? There are new waves of enemies? I agree. I think it is totally fine. They should call everything levels. No more half times. You get to second half time it would be second level. What the fuck is halftime? It's pronounced wavi. Oh, like review? Is that what you're doing? And review? That stops it. Ah! God! Fucking coming out of the fucking sky. Yeah, that was death one. I feel like that's what happened before. It's like. I always forget that they fucking fly out of the sky like this. Motherfucker. Can I hold it? I can't hold it down right now, so I have to fucking do this.
hate the stage. I mean, wait. I hate everything. I hate everything. One more shot and <laughs> level eight. One more shot at level eight. And if I don't beat it, fine. Play it, play it more another day. I just want one more good fucking shot at that level. I mean, this is a hard fucking game. Like, what do you want? Silkworm missile, it's crazy. It really is. What is this? Since these are missiles, Kit Cloud Kicker would try to deflect them, but he'd just get blown the fuck up instead like a dumbass. Yeah, in the in Tailspin, there's episodes where Don Carnage shoots bullets at Kit while he's in the sky on his tinfoil and the bullets deflect the bullets get deflected off of the tinfoil so that thing I went through it already watch my video we talked about this already I made a whole video on that <laughs> that you're, that's this is what we're talking about yeah, why doesn't somebody hack this and make it a tailspin? Why isn't this tailspin? Silkworm tailspin edition. That's what it should be called. What if it's blue? Oh, instead of that fucking, instead of this yellow helicopter, it would be the fucking plane from Tailspin. And it would have gun. Imagine the fucking Baloo blowing people out of the sky. I want to see that episode of Tailspin, where Baloo is fucking blowing people out of the sky. Baloo has a gun.
Yeah, but they have the episode where Baloo has a gun. That's always a good episode. People refer to me as the Bob Ross of video games because of my calm, cool demeanor, which I always keep. Jeffy, thank you very much for the tier one sub. 
What was the last physical NES game you bought? Um... Pest Terminator, Mint. It was, uh, you know how they grade video games? I only like to buy my video games graded, so it was professionally graded. Um, it was a perfect 10, which is very rare. Perfect 10 copy of Pest Terminator on NES. It's worth $90,000. Picked that up yesterday. Fucking shit. Alright, here we go. Have you guys heard I'm the Admiral of Gaming? Thank you, Retro Jeffrey. Mmm, graded video games. Is, aren't they the best? I love how the games are like $50,000, but the grade is like A- minus or B+. Plus. Like, what does an A- plus game cost? Oh, probably like $200,000, $300,000 easy. Like, if you have a copy of, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, Silent Service on NES, and it's, like, mint in the box and graded, oh, God, that would be, like, at least half a million dollars. I got a couple copies of those over there. Um, I don't know. I might just throw them out. I don't know. Can't play them anyway. Solar Jetman. Yeah, uh, a 9.9 .9 Solar Jetman is, uh, six million dollars. That's true. There exist 1,500 NES games. There, there exist. How about there are? There are. Fuck, fuck me. No, that's true. There, there's actually more than 1,500 NES games. There's actually 72,000 NES games, believe it or not. I have all of them. They're all in my, I keep them in my bathroom. I have all those cardboard boxes they are just laying in my bathroom. All 72,000 NES games. All the original copies. And then I leave my shower on like all day long with like the steam. Just billowing all throughout my bathroom. And the cardboard is getting all wet. All wet and moist. I just, I just got it like all fucking. I got all of them like all fucking wet and moist. Super Nintendo as well. Anything that has like a cardboard box, I like to keep in my bathroom. And then keep the shower turned on with the door shut and the window shut. Here we go.
what he said was gra grammatically correct. I don't care, I didn't like it. Maybe it was. I could still not like it though. Speak how I think it, you should do is speak. Why didn't he say like, uh, how about, there is B 1,500 of NES games is. He should say that. That I'd be happy with. Do you have an MSX? I do. I think it's the MSX2 though, it's not the first. There's like a couple MSXs. How about that? What's the gramma what's the grammatical procedure on the how to say the MSX plurally? I say MSXs. Like sexes. Mm, sexes! On the NES! That's what I say. I say MSXs. Would it be like a fungi? Would it be MSXI? How do you say MSXs? Do you say MSXs? Or do you say something else? I don't know. What do you say? He man, 1,500 NES games does M exist. Yeah, see, I like that. It would be MSX's said like how you're saying it, no apostrophe either. What if the MSX owns something? Let's say that the, let's say that my MSX was sentient and it 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 owned a cheeseburger. Would there then be a apostrophe between the X and the S? I want to see an MSX eat a cheeseburger. How do you like this game commentary? Now we're like English teachers in there. Plural of fuck. You know what the plural of fuck is? Fuck. The plural of fuck is. Oh man. Oh, oh I thought I had more than that. Bowl. A bowl of fuck. Which you should eat. You should eat a bowl of fuck. But if you had a bowl, like it's like a bowl of cereal. There's like multiple pieces of. You know, there's multiple Cheerios like in the cereal, right? So if each Cheerio was a fuck, then you'd have a bowl of fuck. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so this is Silkworm for the NES. What is your biggest weakness? Uh, when I'm trying to play Silkworm on NES and somebody brings up Star Trek or Godzilla and then I have to give like an hour long explanation on how I feel about it for the 8 millionth time. Even though I've said all this on streams before, I have to say it again. So then I play shittier and shittier and shittier at the game when earlier I was doing better because I was able to concentrate. I'd say that. I'd say that's what it is! Probably. It's my favorite thing. Ooh. 
destroyed that thing really quick that time. See, how, how did that guy die so quickly that time? Hmm. Hmm. There are things that I don't know about this, aren't there? Come on now. Come on now. needs to save a repeating reel that explains how he feels about Star Trek and Godzilla like he did with Diablo 2 min-maxing and he can just put it up instead of talking about it the problem is that people ask different specific questions so if somebody you know somebody will come in and be like hey Mike do you like Godzilla then, then I like write a response to how I feel about like Godzilla But then somebody will ask like something like really specific, and then like the the text wouldn't a answer the question. They'll be like, "What do you think about Son of Godzilla's tail, or something?" And then if my reply is how I feel about Godzilla, it doesn't answer the question. I just want, I want to do the fucking level 8 one more time. It's fucking hard to get there, though. Thought I was doing alright on the other one, but I guess not. She's fucking bo bosses up. I gotta remember on that yellow stage to stay away from the sky, but that's one thing. Because the fucking enemies come out of the sky, that's a problem area, for sure. against the law to not answer some random person's question but I'll, I just a lot of times I just read out the questions I'll just be like uh, his tail changed quite a bit like I didn't I didn't like read it first so I just like look over because I'm like streaming right and I'm like playing the game and like every, you know I pause it I look over so I read something out so then I have to like stop and I, I gotta I have to read the person's thing first. Okay, like this one. Okay, now I read it and now I'm gonna decide to myself, okay, do I wanna answer this question or not? Um, let me think about whether or not I, and then I have to like think, I just read out the fucking questions. Like Kenny Lauderdale's question. I'm, I'm just gonna skip over it. Is that what you want me to do? I'm just gonna skip this question. Earlier I asked if you owned a helicopter, what color would you want it to be? I didn't get an answer. It wasn't the end of the world. I didn't see it. I, never, I didn't see you type that. But had I, 
I probably would have read it out and answered it because I'm looking for something to say on the stream. Because the idea, the idea is that I play video games and then I talk to the chat. So if somebody wants to say, hey Mike, what is your favorite helicopter color? Maybe I'll answer that question if I happen to see it, if I happen to look over. But the whole chat's like full of, you know, questions and, and comments here. So I just pick things out and I read them. Some are great and some are stupid. It doesn't really matter. Have you ever been in a helicopter? I have in Hawaii. It was Kauai, actually. You don't think Trouble of Tribble is bad either, but you can see why people li wouldn't like it? It's not that I think it's, like, bad. It's that all of <laughs> So I would read like a lot of Star Trek material, right? And there'd be always be like, oh, what are the best Star Trek episodes? And often, very often, it, they would p always pick Trouble with Tribbles as the best episode. And I think the episode's fine. Um, there's some parts in it I like. The, the whole part with like Scotty getting like in trouble, you know, and, he, and like the Klingons are making fun of the Enterprise and all that. Like I like that part of it. But there's also a lot of that episode that's really fucking boring and stupid. And like, I think it's also kind of just a dumb fucking episode, like plot wise. You know, it's like okay, the ship, ship gets filled up with a bunch of fucking like these animal things, and then oh, they got a beam them into fucking space or whatever the fuck. You know. That's not what they do. But it's just a fucking dumb episode. You know, I don't hate it. Like, it's fine. There's worse episodes than that. What, what bothers me about it is that people choose it as the best episode of the show, and it's just so not the best episode of the show. So that's why I don't like... You know, when people talk about, like, oh, the trouble with triples, the trouble with triples, it's like, shut up. How about, like, the immunity syndrome? How about, um, the ultimate computer? You know? How about balance of terror? Like, there's so many, like, good ones, you know, that don't get mentioned, and then there's like, oh, the trouble with triples. Yeah, because it's just stupid fucking, like, little cute animal thing. Because cause it's fucking stupid. So it's fine. Like, you know, I saw that episode as, like, a kid or whatever, and it's like, it's fine. It's like, oh, it's okay. It's, like, it's an okay episode. But these fucking people saying it's the best fucking episode fucking suck. So that's how I feel about the trouble with tribbles. See, motherfuckers got me on Star Trek again. See, motherfucker, and I'm dead. And I'm dead. You, I, that, it was your fault. Who was that? That was she, she? It was your fault that I died right there. I'm blaming you. If nobody talked about Trouble with Troubles, it would be a cool episode, but everybody ruined it. it exactly. That is exactly 100% how I feel about it. Just shut the fuck up about it. What do you think about Trek from the last decade? Brain, brain dead slop? How many times have I answered that? Now, Slider, I've seen your name in here before. You really haven't, like, heard me complain about, like, modern Star Trek 800,000 fucking times on every, like, every fucking stream? I, okay, maybe I really do. I'm gonna, on my blog, we're gonna have to make a Star Trek, um category of how I feel about all different Star Trek related subjects and then you're just gonna start getting like links
I hate modern Star Trek. I fucking hate it. Once fucking Voyager ended, it's fucking over. I, I kind of like some of Enterprise, though. But that's it. And it's fucking done. Don't give me any of the Mike doesn't like anything modern shit because I like Cobra Kai, so go fuck yourself. said that. That's me that's me anti anticipating what people will say. That was a nice dodge there. And somebody would fucking say that too. They will 110%. And that's the guy I'm fucking talking to that can go fuck himself. anything modern you'll admit that there's, there's some things here and there but yeah it's hard you've never seen an episode of Star Trek well that's fine that's actually you know what um with things like that, if you'd be like, oh, I've never seen uh, Star Trek, or I've never seen, you know, let's say you never saw Back to the Future, or you never saw Ghostbusters, or something like that. It's like, yeah, but one day you could watch it, and then you still have that to look forward to. I, I like... I mean, and sometimes, like, here and there, like, I'll, you know, I'll find some old thing and be like, oh, let me try this, like, old thing and be like, oh, my God, like, I love this old thing and I never bother to watch it. That's what I've been doing, like, lately. I'm, like, I'm going back to old stuff from the past that, like, I never saw, you know? I watch, like, a lot of old movies and stuff, so, like, and sometimes they suck. But, like, sometimes, you know, a lot of times I'll find something that's, like, really good that I had never seen before. when they actually used to, like, make movies. And everything wasn't just a, um, a superhero movie or a prequel or a remake or all that crap. I don't see any fucking remakes or prequels or whatever, all this shit. movies from like the 19 like 40s and 50s and 60s and shit motherfucker that fly is back he was fucking waiting he was waiting for the right fucking time I'm on wave 5 motherfucker is gonna come back when I'm on like fucking wave 8 and fucking distract the fuck out of me
oh, and then it fucking slammed into it. Jesus Christ. Gonna be one of these ground guys. Oh, I hate this. That was a pretty good shot, though. Oof. Okay. It's a nice start on this. Nice! That was better than I usually do. <sighs> They're gonna ruin Beetlejuice next. Oh my god, absolutely. The thing I really like about Beetlejuice, um, I mean, I, li I, like the, I like the plot and everything and the characters and stuff, but like, and Michael Keaton's funny, the, the, like the, all that. But one of the big aspects of the movie that I like is the stop motion animation, you know? And you know the new movie is gonna be all fucking CGI, so it's gonna, it's already like gonna be not as special, because it's like one of the things that makes Beetlejuice special is all that cool like stop motion animation. And you're like Tim, that's what Tim Burton would do back then. It's like you know Nightmare Before Christmas and all that, all that like cool stop motion stuff. And it's just like it doesn't even, it's not gonna have any of that shit. It's like so who even fucking cares? Unless I'm wrong and they stick a bunch of fucking awesome stop motion animation in it, but they're not gonna fucking do that. They're gonna pay some animator. There, there's gonna be some under. Oh, let's talk about the fucking an. The, uh, there probably be some underpaid fucking animator who's gonna, you know, have to do all this fucking animation for it, and then the fucking studio will close down like a year or two like later, you know, and then the guy's like looking for a job again. That's how that's gonna fucking be. You're gonna look at the special effects in the fucking movie. There's no fucking appreciation for the fucking animators that have to animate all this fucking shit, all the CG stuff. Then they'll be looking for another fucking job. What are they really going to do that we need anyway? What do we really need from Beetle, like Beetlejuice? You don't need anything else. They could totally just not make the movie. Like, it, it, fucking, it doesn't need to be another one. And if you ever needed any more Beetlejuice, well, this is a fucking cartoon. with a bunch of fucking episodes. You watch the fucking cartoon and you need more, you need more Beetlejuice. They're making another fucking Beetlejuice? Like, why? The fuck for?
why can't this be good? That's how you know Mike Karras' anger comes from love. Well, like... Yeah, and I feel that way about like fucking video games too. It's like I want them to fucking be good. So when I play some of these old games, I don't have not really been complaining about this game. I haven't really found much about this game I don't like. That's saying something. Like really, now I just thought about this. I've been playing this for like hours now. I don't think I complain about anything with this game. And you know me, like I'll fucking complain. If I got something to fucking complain about, I'll fucking complain. I haven't fucking found one fucking complaint. No, I haven't, did you notice that? I haven't fucking complained about one fucking thing. This is a fucking well done game. They made this just the fucking way I want. And here you go, and here's an NES game I haven't gotten to yet, right? And the guy earlier, right, right he was talking about, oh, Mike, I've never seen Star Trek. Yeah, but look at this. Look, I'm having a great time. I might not beat this game, but I'm having a great time playing this Silkworm game, and I think it's a really good game. And I never... This is an NES game I never, like, got to play yet. And I'm so glad that there's still NES games that, like, I could find and experience and play, you know? I mean, technically, I have played this before. I played every NES game. I did, like, the NES A to Z. So it's like, I... I played it, but not, this is the first time I'm like really playing it and putting some real time into it. That's what I mean. You know? It's like the difference of, like, I'm sure, like, even if you haven't watched Star Trek, you've probably seen a picture of the characters online or whatever. Like, you've seen a little bit of what it is, I'm sure. It's like probably hard to avoid, you know? But then if you actually were to like sit down and watch a bunch of episodes, then you could be like, oh, well, no, I actually have seen it. And that's when you can decide whether or not you really like something or not. You know, and now that I've actually put some time into playing this game, I can tell you that I definitely like this game. I think it's really good. And I'm, I'm really happy that there's still NES games for me to find and um, determine whether or not, um, you know, I like them. That's what I wanted to do with that A to Z stream, but sometimes it's like... There's so many NES games, it's hard to, like, really determine if you really like a game or not, unless you, like, really sit and play it for, like, a long time. It's the only thing that sucks. So even even doing that, like, trying to do that A to Z, doesn't totally help. But I think when I did play this on the A to Z stream, I bet, yeah, I probably liked it, you know? So here we go. And, you know, I remember being people being so pissed off at me. I, I'm like going through like NES games A to Z, and they're like, "Well, how come you turning it off after a minute?" It's like, well, there's I have to go through fucking like 800 fucking games or something. It's like, what do you want me to do? And I always said I'd come back to these fucking games later. And guess well, what? What do I do? I fucking do. You know. And here's another one. That's what those streams were supposed to be. Just like briefly trying out games, taking a quick look, see what's see what's what, and then if I see anything cool, come back to it later. Now hopefully those people understand that, but probably not even. They're pro is they're probably like Me kid, me kid saw you play the game. Me kid thinks it's a good game. Don't fucking die. God damn it. All right, hopefully that was the first continue, though. Was that the first time I used the continue? It fucking better be. See, this is where the game gets really hard. Before I've done... I, I was doing better on that guy earlier. He is tough, though. game has great sunsets. I agree. Two days ago you were playing something that had been released like a day before that. It's hard to get any newer than that. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes I play like new stuff. Like, occasionally I will play something that's, like, brand new. But I don't feel like I have to do that 
like all the time. Like I think there's a lot of people that are like they have to play whatever the newest hot game is. It's like that's the game that they're playing. And right now it's uh, that game is Pud World. Everybody's talking about Pud World. And I don't know. Maybe I'll play that someday. I don't know. But I don't feel the need to play it like right now. Like the, just because it's like hyped. People buy into like hype like really hard. I remember it, like, so it was, like, the early 2010s, 2011, whatever, everybody was talking about, like, Minecraft, and it's just, like, nothing makes me not want to play a game more than, like, if every fucking person on Earth is, like, talking about it. It's like, okay, maybe the game is good, and you know what, I play, I play through and I beat Minecraft now, it was, it was fun, I had a fun time playing Minecraft, uh, nothing wrong with the game, but man, I don't fucking want to know about the, the fucking, like, the fucking hype and having to fucking play it as soon as it comes out, I fucking hate that. I got to it eventually. It took me like 10 years and then I eventually played it. And it was a good game. Minecraft was good. It was fun. I like that you can actually beat that game. For so long, I didn't know that it was like, like that Minecraft was like a beatable game. Once I knew that, and I was like, oh, well, every because I always people, people see people just playing Minecraft as like a sandbox game where they're just building stuff, and it seemed to have no point. And that's when I was like, oh, well, I don't know, I don't really need to just sit and build random buildings or whatever. I, I used to think that that's what it was, but it's not what it is. You can actually, I mean, you can play it that way. But then I went through and I, I was like, oh, we can actually beat it. So I went through and I beat it and I beat the Ender Dragon and all that stuff. And it, um, and I really liked the, uh, you know, you you find the, uh, I can't remember what it's called. There's like a, there's like a fortress uh, that you find and you have to, there's these guys that have like these like golden rods and stuff like that that you gotta get and these like fire guys and stuff. And it was, it was cool, it was, uh, it was fun. But man, do I not want to play it like the fucking day of release just because everybody else is fucking playing it. All right, so I'm, I, oh, you, did I just fucking get an extra life? You, oh, oh. I was like so shocked by it. You can get an extra, did you see that? How did that happen? Did anybody know how that happened? I had four lives there for a second. And I heard a noise, I think. So there is extra fucking, god, there, damn it. There is extra lives. I think that was the first time I fucking saw it. That fuck! This level is ridiculous! Jesus! The, the enemies are invisible on this level, okay? Don't look like this shit! Now, 
now it's bump and jump. Let's play bump and jump. beat one level with the G. Can I do that? How do you fucking... Oh, look at this. This is like... What the hell? Um, okay. in the sky, which is 90% of the game, that you don't even fight. How the, how the fuck do I fight this stuff? What? This is exactly what I was worried about. This is what I was saying. I was like, how can you even fight these bosses? Guess like this? This is like trash. Dude, fuck this. Is there like something else I can do? Like, I can't shoot up at it. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> what? How the fuck are you, are you supposed to do that? Looks like you have to hit the, it right below the cannon. I'm gonna try this again. Like it, it works really well on the levels, it seems like, but you get to the boss and it's just like, it seems like this game isn't designed to fucking fight the bosses with this fucking Jeep. Try it again now. But I want to figure out. There's got. There's got to be some better methods. You're just supposed to like hop like that. It's like so shitty. Thanks for sub. Jeep is hard mode? And maybe it is. 
as if it wasn't hard enough already. People are saying you can drive inside the boss. Okay, let's see. Is that true? What the fuck? I didn't know you could drive into the boss. All right, well that fucking changes that. What the fuck? Okay, I would, ne I would never have thought you could do that. What the fuck? All right, well, game on then, I guess, with this fucking Jeep. Let's fucking go. Did you fucking see that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody said Nintendo Power. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Mike Chimari. Okay, Jeep is not hard mode. Uh... Yeah, but there's the whole rest of the game, so who knows? Just keep fucking upgrading me. Just keep fucking upgrading me! Me? And then imagine if you were the Jeep and the fucking helicopter. And it's n and then the game doesn't scale. Fucking fly. to go order McDonald's over go to McDonald's? I prefer to not eat that shit. I think you owe the Jeep an apology. I didn't really try to... Oh, I mean, you mean the, like the first day? Okay, fine. I apologize to the Jeep. I apologize to you, Jeep. I didn't know that Mr. Jeep could go into... The, the, the drive inside the enemies. Oh! I had 
had to get greedy. You fucking son of a bitch. The fucking head comes off of that? Upgraded Jeep. So this is the fucking like that's a fucking problem. Like how do you fucking get by that? Oh boy. Um oh, oh shit. Oh great. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this fucking guy though. fucking get by that. Oh, maybe you have to drive past it. In the, like, I, I think I know what to do now, actually. Like, as soon as it starts, drive past it. Ships come because I want to say, like, if, if it came like right now, I would just fucking drive to the right. Fucking god, oh, and the damn it! Oh, fuck! Ah! All right. God damn it. Then what are all the other fucking levels be like too? I'm gonna have to like learn what to do on each like level with this Jeep. It's not like you can just like fly around and avoid everything like with the helicopter. You gotta like figure out methods with this fucking Jeep. So I don't have like the ground thing there, so oh I have to jump. That's what I'd have to do. Give it, give me that, okay. So you gotta, I gotta like jump in the air to get that. Kill him, kill him. Okay. 
You gotta be right in the right spot. The Jeep gets a free down shot while it's jumping for you to destroy. Yeah, when you're upgraded though, it like, it shoots the ground, aiming upwards and hitting big things with the two split shots does a ton of damage, yeah. Cyber Jeep. Kind of like Moon Patrol, yeah. The Jeep has bigger balls. Well, the, I mean, the jet was, I, I thought the jet was good too. So maybe the, the jet, you know, jet is a big dick but the Jeep is big balls. But then if you play this game in two-player mode co-op, it can be a dick and balls. I could be one of those uh, old magazine reviewers for like a game, game informer or whatever. Game pro. Mike Mate says Silkworm is dick and balls. Could be a good review. Jeep is balls. Plane is dick. Or a helicopter, whatever. I can do that too. I keep forgetting I can shoot backwards. See, like that, I don't even have to jump. That's what I meant. You can just go like bam, 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 like that. gonna fucking get me ever. It's like, it can't even possibly. It doesn't fucking shoot down. The enemies have different behaviors and move differently to attack the jeep on the ground. If I had a jeep, what color would it be? Don't you see it? I have a jeep. It's blue. What are you talking about? It's fucking blue. You can't, don't you see my Jeep? I like the little sprite in the top right where it says Jeep. I like the little sprite for the Jeep. This is what you do with these guys. Cause I'm shooting, they go like that. Like that. So if this blue ship comes, I'll know what to do now. Jesus. I built those guys, I don't really know. Those like robot dudes. Oh, like this. Yeah.
they eat the afford as fast as possible. So this next part, I don't know if I know what to do on this next part. So like this guy, what do you think I do here? This, this is where I might need help. That Jeep is too powerful for its own good. Yeah, but I don't know about on this guy because I don't really know where to be. This level in background is one of the ugliest you've ever seen. I think it's beautiful, you're wrong. This is like a jumping and shooting thing. jump like the thunder tank I don't know what to do on this dude Touching the tank and shoot up, like straight up. Oh, I can be here. Fuck. Oh, fuck.
fucking die again as soon as I get there. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking point is anymore. Yeah, I fucking... Oh, all right. Well, that was good. Now I want the fucking helicopter back. This is why you gotta play this game two pl players, so then the fucking helicopter could take that guy out while I'm... Cause I can't fucking do shit with this thing. time I don't I have no method more than before it might be one of those situations where you need all your upgrades to stand a chance shoot diagonal to the right so like this Fucking missiles are horrible though. Oh! That is how you fucking do it. Cause you can also like go underneath it, so I thought I had to go underneath it and shoot up. Great. Well now it's like, now I'm out of fucking like lives and shit though. So now I have to start the whole fucking game over. I'm gonna have to learn, fuck. I'm gonna have to learn each stage with the tank and like how to like how to fight each one of these guys. And it's gonna get harder and harder. I guess I have to jump over that thing. See, there's like all these like little things that you have to like learn. Like that, I don't know. That fucking pillar thing, that's more there for this fucking tank than it is for the plane because, you know, it's, the plane, you just fucking fly over it. For the helicopter, this like tank, I like fucking ran into it. So I don't know if I was supposed to blow that thing up, or maybe like if you're able to jump over it or something. Now nah, I'm gonna have to like learn that too. Oh, right. Just get an extra life. It's like 50,000 points to get a life. All right, so we'll see another boss. I should just I should have stayed like back here probably. Damn it. Fuck, it's still like it's not ah oh, man. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop here for now. I'll I'll probably play I really like this game. So I'm like burnt out. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe I'd be able to beat this with 
the tank or the fucking jeep, whatever the fuck it is. I keep calling the helicopter a plane, and I keep calling the jeep a tank. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I like this game a lot. I'll probably play it more another day. That's it. Thanks for watching. It's a good game. Try yourself. See you next time. Bye.